that will me too <laughs> <laughs> Did, did 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 any did we even tell anybody that we were going live? I did. Um, okay. In um, a couple of live streams that I watched, I told them we were going to do this. So okay. <clears throat> this isn't okay. your regular day for it, is it? Well, it's what? Tanya and I do do hangouts on. Um, on Tuesdays, pretty, you know, a couple times a, a month. All right. right. Okay. 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 She's on. I'm going to go look for it. And I'm going to move my. I see you. I see you. I, see so you. I can see the chat. It should be mute. I see it. Carving stamps. Okay. And Barbara. So hopefully people will get notifications. So here we go. I got them both. I got one on top of the other. Boy, I'm getting okay. so good at this. <laughs> and they're fixing to take it away. <laughs> they're going to do oh. some. You know, after uh, Lisa, after y'all started talking about that and Lisa's thing, I started researching that OBS stuff. Well, but OB, OBS is not going to let you do multiple things. Um, and I am echoing. So let, uh, let me see if I can figure that out. Hello, Mary. Hi, Mary. Hey, Mary. Well it's just it says up here to try youtube.com slash webcam for quick streaming well that's how i already stream but um i don't you know i haven't seen a an option in there for a hangout but i'll look into that and see if we can figure out something well um, what what they were talking about or what i looked up on um on whatever i looked it up on um was using obs with zoom so we yeah. get on a whoever wants to get on a Zoom call gets on a Zoom call and then we put it out through OBS. Maybe Mary's done some research by now. There's Patricia. And that's fine, Robert. except with Zoom, you have to pay unless you just want to Zoom with one other person. Well, that's true, or you only have 45 minutes. Yeah. I'm I'm trying to persuade trying to persuade Mary. Uh, a TA to get a pro account and have several of us send her 30 bucks. Mary says that she's started researching OBS too. So hi oh, Patricia. Good. It's good to see you. So I am still working on a um, Kleenex box stencil. Well, cool. And I think I'm going to put it aside so I can carve my stamps because that's what I came here to do. Do <laughs> you yeah, I think that sounds like a plan. Well, but and I, I'm, I love these Kleenex box designs lately. So whenever there's one I like, I turn it into a stencil. That's a great idea. Yeah. And Lisa, you're still bouncing back and forth between. Oh, yeah, I am. When sorry. People talk. And um, I don't know if I'm still. Am I echoing, guys? Those of you who are out there, can you tell me if I'm echoing? Well, you sound good to me, but okay. I'm not hearing an echo. All right, maybe I've got it fixed. I have to show y'all what my sister um she pinned this to my shirt when she got on the airplane tonight. Oh god, <laughs> I got <laughs> any patience. <laughs> really? Um, <laughs> Okay, but it says, God, give me patience. And at the bottom, it says, right, right now. now. And you have to understand, she stood at, stayed at my mama's house for a whole week. So now you understand. And her her comment to me was, I am sorry. Oh. So. Because she's not here to help more. <laughs> yes, no, she's not here. Now, I'm going to tell you what, all she did all week was clean. She cleaned and cleaned and cleaned and cleaned at Mama's, so um, so that you know I wouldn't have to do it all. Wow! Hi, Janet. It's good to see you. I want to show you something. I'm going to put the thing okay. back on me so I can show Janet. 
I went to a thrift store today, Janet, and this is what I found. Ooh, look at that. Okay, you're bouncing still, Lisa. Well, I said I put it on me. Let's see. What am I doing wrong? Well, you just keep talking and nobody else will talk until you're done. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, it's a it's a photograph album. It says it will hold a hundred four by six photos, but it holds a six by six stencil perfectly. Nice. So I'll send it to you, Janet. You can put a hundred of them in here. Nice. <laughs> and they're easy to get out because it's only supposed to hold a photo that's this big. So oh. anyway. I'll put, let's get that in the mail. I better take my stencil out or I'll end up sending you the stencil too. And I need the stencil. <laughs> I have my six by sixes in a little book like that. What is that book? It's just a little six by six book. Yeah. Well, this is just a little six by six photo. Al I mean, it says it's a four by six photo album, but, um, but it's got, you know, the square is six by six. So it works out fine. So you're welcome, Janet. I was excited when I saw it. I thought, oh, maybe that will work. And I brought it home and pulled out my stencil just to make sure it would go in there. So, so yay. Okay. Drum roll. Okay, Barbara, I'm coming over to you while you're drum rolling. Well, it, on my screen, you're still bouncing back and forth. <laughs> hmm. Okay, oh, are we bouncing back and, and forth? Is it still bouncing back and forth? Um. It, it You're, doesn't yes. me now, it's on me now. Okay, now it's on Barbara. So I got ready to do this today, and I this was one that I needed to make because the one that I have of this, let me get it, show you, is a mess. I messed it up. I cut it too tight. So, so this is the one that I made. And um, and see oh, how man. I cut it. I cut it really tight, and so these are wobbly, and they're going to break off. This is already starting to break off. Yeah, you shouldn't have cut it all the way through. I think. No. Not when you have some a little dorky thing like that. So I stamped it on here, and I'm going to cut a new one. Okay. Not cut it in. And then I also have a die cut that I like that I want well, from where I made the die cut. I um, use the blank, you know, the blank cardboard for a stencil. Oh. Um, and, and so I have that stencil, but I don't have that as a stamp. So I stamped it onto here to make it into a stamp. <coughs> and the main good. thing I want to do today was um oh he's adorable isn't he cute mm -hmm. this is an articulated artist dancer or something you know like one of those articulated people except he's flat and he he's a magnet and goes on the refrigerator but this is from the box he came on and i made him into a stencil when i cut him out of the box that he came on but I'm going to mess that stencil up because it's just cardboard and it'll it'll go bye bye. And then I have a Gina Aaron's um, <laughs> stencil, um, and I made a couple different smaller sizes of it, and I'm going to make that into a couple stamps. I don't know. Is that legal? Um, you can't sell them. No, you can't sell them. You can't sell the work you make with them, probably. No, that's right. Unless so, you get credit. Right. So, but I don't think it's illegal to do it. I just think it, it's it's illegal to sell it. Yeah. Now, I may be wrong with that one, but if you're using it in your own art, she sold you the stencil. Right. So that is what I have got to work on today, plus my... Kleenex box that had this great pattern on it. And um, so because these were off center and I wanted some whole ones on there, 
I made circles in the back of this one so I can do two whole ones in there and then go ahead and carve out these two things. Cool. That's carving a stencil, not a stamp. So anyway, here's the carving stamps. That's what I'm gonna do now. Let me take a minute and say hello to everybody. Mm-hmm. Okay, we got Patricia and Mary and Janet and Barb and Sherry and Violet. Glad all of you are here. Hey, y'all. And to all of you out there in in um, um, Lurker Land, land, lurker land <laughs> um, welcome, welcome. We're, we're glad you're here, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. so. Okay, well, I'm going to move over to you, Tanya, and you can tell us what you're going to be working on. Well, uh, the only thing that was available in the disaster that I have right now, um, I have I had this out from last oh my last live stream when I was showing you things that I had found these these little that like you have Lisa. This yes, little, I love that um, so thing, and uh, so I'm going to. Um, carve on it because you know I really I had to clear up a hole so that I could actually work um, I have to keep moving the hole from one place to another place so that I can get something done while I'm here um, I understand that yeah and um, I, I haven't had much time with stuff here because we've been going through things at mom's house and getting um, getting stuff ready to take to the church garage sale and some things ready to try to sell and um boxing stuff up and cleaning stephanie cleaned like a crazy woman while she was here so um i am going to work on these and i should have gotten some ideas drawn up ahead of time but i didn't so i'm going to just draw this one directly on the um on the rubber and see how it goes because this one's going to be simple um i haven't carved anything in a very long time so um we'll just see how it goes <laughs> i know <laughs> so um I, I was lucky i i knew where my carving tool was that was the big thing today is that do i know where my carving tool is and my poor sister who um you know, bought her ticket back in December, found out the, okay, she worked until the Friday before she came here on Monday, and then um, found out that day that she had gotten accepted to teach us during summer school this year. So, and she's a TA, a, a teacher's assistant. And so, and this is the first year she's done summer school. Well, tomorrow is her first day. Oh, she, goodness. Has, to, she has to be there at eight o'clock in the morning. Um, an hour and a half before her flight this afternoon, she got a notification that her flight would be delayed and therefore um, she was not gonna make her connecting flight. So we rushed to, to the airport. She managed to get a different flight through different airports, totally different airports. And uh, even where she's landing, her husband had to go to a different spot than he was supposed to go to. Anyhow, um, an hour and a half after that flight was supposed to take off, she messaged me that they were still on the tarmac. Oh, so she had been sitting um, here in Pensacola for an hour and a half. So I don't know if she's going to make it home tonight at all. Oh, goodness. So And, and she's supposed to be at work at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. So. Oh. It is not a good, not a good day. So, and it's the first year she's gotten to teach summer school. So, or, you know, to TA during summer school. So she was really pleased with that because it's taken her a while to get established in their school system. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, those of you that might be in New York, Kingston, I think is where she's teaching in the high school for the summer. We'll need a vacation. Yeah, she's going to need a vacation, Patricia, because all she did was clean while she was here. Um, That's devotion. 
Yeah, well, she feels she's the one that feels guilty for me doing so much, you know. Yeah, because you're closer. Yeah, well, and, and I have always, I, for the last 15 years, I've taken care of everything down here. Um, my dad hasn't taken care, hadn't taken care of anything at the house for years. Jeff and I've done pretty much all the chores there mm. for a long time, even before dad passed away. Uh, I spent... I spent several trips down here rebuilding sh the shed and and getting it um, cleaned up and you know just stuff like that. Just the things that you have to do when when you own a house. But my dad was never really good at maintenance in the first place. So so. And if my husband's voice is too loud, guys, I'm sorry. He's talking to my kiddo. Aww. We are also expecting a storm. We had a storm today, but, you know, we're expecting a tropical depression. So mm. that's going to be a lovely thing. You don't have to stay on me, Lisa, because I, I, what I'm doing is boring. <laughs> All right. I'll switch back to Barbara real quick. Yes, that's right, Patricia. She can just brush her teeth and run right to work. She was dressed nicely enough. She probably could go right straight to work. So. <coughs> Looks like you're getting it done, Barbara. It's a happening. Okay, she's she's already carving. Are you carving yet, Lisa? I am. Mm. But I had mostly drawn this one um, before I started anyway, so okay. I, I was kind of ready. Um, some of it I'm going to have to try to adjust because my drawing didn't look like it should have looked. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, I'll go to me and show you what I'm carving. This is this is my puppy cubby, and I'm carving a stamp. That's cute. But so I'm, what are you carving on? It's weird. On an eraser. A, oh, okay. um, <laughs> it's a. It looked like this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a Dollar Tree eraser. <laughs> Um, Janet just asked, is everyone using eraser? Um, what are you, um, I'm not, I'm using that pink, um, the pink speedball stuff. Speedball. Yeah. Carve mm -hmm. easy carve or whatever they call it. Mm -hmm. Um, see. Yeah, I'm too cheap to use that. <laughs> I got so I got a real good price on some not the pink one but the blue one at Hobby Lobby a couple weeks ago. Um, so for Carve December, I'm going to use some of those because I haven't carved in so long. I didn't want to um, carve anything big tonight, so I thought that I would just do something small tonight and see how it went. Yeah. Besides, this cost a dollar, so you know I can there throw it away. If if it's bad, I can just throw it away. Yeah, this is the only thing I've ever carved on that speedy carve. And oh, we need to wow. go back in and take down some more of these places. But right now, the tree usually comes out pretty good. I love that tree. But um, I found this a lot harder to carve on than my erasers. So I've never bought it again. Oh, okay. Well, and I was going to tell you all that um, we had to go to Walmart today for mom. And uh, Walmart had um, those high, those white high polymer erasers that um, Mary likes for like a dollar forty nine for three. Oh, that's pretty good. Because so, um, I think she usually pays like a dollar a piece for them. Well, she got a bunch of them. I know she got a bunch of them at that. Um, 
uh, what do you call that place? That a craft store that was going out of business. Oh yeah. Uh huh. So. I've carved on one eraser and it it outgassed something horrible. Ew. I mean it was totally nasty. I had to eventually throw it away. So I printed it off on some speedy carve and recarved it. Hmm. Decent. I've never had that problem. That's kind of scary though. I know. This this is on an eraser. Let me change back to you. I don't know if you can see that very good. Can you see that there? Hi, Norma. Come, yeah, that that looks like a cute eraser. I mean, a cute um, stamp. It's a cool kind of stamp. Yeah, I like kind of geographical things. Okay. Norma's here now, guys. Joan's here. Hello, Joan. And Becky's here. Hello, Becky. Hi, Hi Becky. guys. Joan. Hi, Norma. Good to see all of you. We're glad you came over to play. Are you carving stamps? How many of you out there are carving along with us? And how many of you are just watching us? <laughs> We're yeah, watching I'm leaving the lines. I'm taking out everything except the lines. So um, right now, I just well, let me move over to me so you can see what I'm saying. I'm taking, I'm just leaving the lines and taking out everything else. So I've done the background, taking it off, and now I'm taking out um, his body and just leaving the lines. Yay, Mary's carving. Yay, Mary. I figured she'd be carving. Most everybody else is just watching. That's okay. We're happy to let you watch. I was just curious. Norm is working in something black and white. Teresa's black just watching. Black and white art journal. Ooh, yum. Becky's yeah. doing something with a. She's finishing stitching. 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 What are you stitching? Her ATCs. How are you stitching them? Okay, this. This thing is going to make me irritable. <laughs> Exceptionally irritable. What? Um, I'm going to move to you so you can tell us what's making you irritable. Well, the way this thing goes together, I'm I'm not happy with it. it I just pulled it apart again. Your because, staff? No, the, the, um, the thing that holds the tools. Oh, that thing. Those yep. things have to be tight. Well, but not not only that, they have to be put together in just the right way, and this one is just absolutely irritable. <laughs> not put together right. No. Okay. So I I went to change the blade because that tiny little blade was not really working, and when I took it apart, it kind of fell apart. So. And we're going to have to see how anything works tonight because I can't see with my glasses and I can't see without them anymore. Be Boy, you know, that's the problem with mine, too. Is that you, Tanya, saying that? Yes, it's my me. And Becky's doing a slip knot binding. Oh. So, Becky, I hope you're, you're video, videoing that binding. That's the one, Barbara, we used in... Um, We've used it in, in a couple of our, or at least one of our hangout books. Oh, okay. Um, was that January, Lisa? Yeah, the um, the scrappy book. Yeah, the one we did that was like Lori Murray Jenkins. Okay. Okay. Where are my... Okay. I'll be right back. I have to get some of those, you know cheating reading things okay so, i'm gonna go back to barbara then okay <laughs> i'm uh keep all of my little blades in my um little box i made out of a greeting card okay oh, that's cute isn't that fun 
Okay, so new different blade. I need a U. Yes, the whole thing about being able original to... Original flight was rerouted to Destin and may get into Philadelphia at 11. Oh, gosh. So she should have stayed on her original flight. Oh, geez. That's a four. That's a four. I keep wanting a U shape that's a two or something. They have no, oh, they do have numbers. <laughs> hmm. they never do have <laughs> I'm not wondering if I bought one. These are both fours, so I have two fours. The two's kind of the middle, isn't it? It's yeah. I'd like to do a little. Let's see if I've got. Let's try this. Two. Yes, I am. Me. Yeah. No. It's a live YouTube video with a hangout. So you can't have a TV on. Okay. Are we messing up his phone? Four, five, and six. <laughs> uh, uh. Uh oh, what's going on? Oh, I pinched my fingers in the damn lock. <laughs> okay, Lisa and Barbara, for right now, you guys are going to have to read chat because I cannot read chat with these things on. But oh, okay. I, have, I have to show you my pretty glasses. Becky wants to know where you buy the blades separately, Barbara. I, I buy the them. Thing. We have a little, a little scrap book store here called Scrapper's Edge. And I buy them there. And we also have um, two real art supply stores, one in Arcata and one in Eureka. And I buy them there. Like Dick Blick? It's not like a big house. It's a small, private, small, local house. Uh, um, it's, um, let's see, uh, Amsterdam Art? No, that's in, that's in Berkeley. Ellis Art. Ellis Art and Engineering is the professional art store here. And then we have a place in Arcata called the Arts Center. And they have the professional level things too. So whenever I need individual things like that, whenever I need real art supplies, I just go there and I pay full price. If I can, I'll buy things with a um, coupon from Michael's. Okay, being able to see the racer really helps, guys. Uh, <laughs> yes. Well, you know, it, Jeffrey keeps telling me, it keeps going, you know, when you get your eyes done, you won't be able to see, have readers. Well, I've gotten to the point where I have to have readers anyway, so. What do you mean when you get your eyes done? Oh, I have cataracts. Oh. And I'm waiting patiently very impatiently to get my eyes fixed oh, okay because right now i can't see squat with my glasses or without my glasses i've got a cataract but it hasn't developed that far yet well apparently both of mine are good enough to be dealt with but he won't give me two dates he would only give me one date at a time i'm like okay you know they both have to be done can i please get on the books I have to wait yeah. for Ember to get the first one done. Oh my god. Yeah. That is frustrating. Oh. And yeah, I can tell my right eye is a little bit in, impaired at this point. Well, and with beads, I cannot I can't wear readers when I'm doing it, so No. I'm gonna have to he's gonna have to get it done soon so I can work. 
Yeah, you can probably order blades online. Mary's saying you can get blades at Dick Blick. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure you can get them at Amazon or wherever. Hey, Ellie K. Hi, Ellie K. <laughs> <laughs> just noticed her. We're behind. Sorry. If you guys want me to get you a link for these local art places here in Eureka, California, I'd be glad to. But I imagine most people like to just get things from Amazon or Dick Lick or something online. Okay, now let me see. Here. I just like to go down the street and talk to a person. That's better when you can do it. Who always gives me a 20% discount because I'm a local artist. I love that. <laughs> It's amazing. Well, I will tell you this eraser does not carve real well, but it's uh -oh. out towards the edges. I don't I'll have to fight, I'll have to argue with it a little bit. So oh boy, that is really interesting. I looked up at my at my computer and it's like everything is everywhere. <laughs> Susan's here too. Hello, Susan. Hi, Susan. Um, Susan, I'll probably have to have them for, um, I'll probably have to have readers. That's what he told me. Uh, and that, and that it is with paying extra for, I, he told me it'd be about 12, 12 to $1,400 per eye. Ooh. I have, oh, I have astigmatism. That's pretty bad. So, okay. Um, so the lenses are, my insurance company won't cover the lenses, so. But yeah, I won't need them to, to, um, to drive anymore or anything like that. But, you know, I've worn glasses since I was four, so. Oh, weird. It'll be weird. It'll be kind of weird. Mm -hmm. And my husband keeps, you know, because my husband had his eyes worked on when we were in South Dakota. Jeff has a eye disease that it took a long time to find. And Happy when he, birthday, Allie Kay. Sorry to you, Tanya. <laughs> that's all right. If if we need it, maybe I, I'd tell her we would sing, but we, she does not want to hear that. No, she does not. She doesn't want, want to sing part. to her? Well, she doesn't want to hear my singing, Barbara. You can sing to her, Barbara. We'll be happy to let you do that. <laughs> I'm, I'm singing on a uh, on my next video that's coming out for Explorations of Me. I um, haven't I haven't uploaded it yet. I'm a little nervous <coughs> about it because I don't sing on key. <laughs> <laughs> well, neither do I. So, um, you know, when so when a child maybe we should take pity on you and not sing. When a, child tells you not to sing anymore mama don't sing anymore mama Aww. um you know sing mama don't sing mama <laughs> you know i was married to a professional musician and lo and behold his mother comes to town and visits us and he's out on the you know he's out on the stage he's doing his set he's been doing this for what 12 15 years or something like that and he's he's a wonderful performer, and you hear his mom in the back row where she and I are sitting. She's in. Shh, she wants him to sing a little quieter. Oh no! I I couldn't believe it. Oh dear! I mean, there was nothing too loud. He's got a really mild, soft voice, anyway. <laughs> so funny. I should put some kind of thing on my hands because I keep poking myself. I have some, um, they're like thimbles, but they're made out of leather mm -hmm. that I bought when I was doing felting. Mm -hmm. That would be yes. nice for that. Oh, you know, I have some, I have leather thimbles. I'm going to go get one. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> they make a special kind of tape to wrap your fingers in too. Jeffrey has it. Um, it's kind of sticky stuff. You know, yeah. Jeff, Jeffrey carves wood, so um, he has some some interesting things. And this sticky tape, it's you can actually buy it like like medical tape. And um, 
it's nice to have on your fingers, but you can still cut yourself through it. Ask me how I know. <laughs> when we were doing a um, history fair thing, the wood carvers were close by us, and one of the guys had some of that on. Mm -hmm. The other guys were teasing him, saying, you know, that is not period appropriate. <laughs> He said, well, just pretend like it's a bandage that I already cut myself. <laughs> oh, Becky says, Greg told us, okay, see, our children are even alike, Becky. Mm -hmm. Although it was, he never told his dad that. He told me that, but uh, yeah. Hello, Holly. Cheryl's here. Hello, Cheryl. Anybody Hi, that we missed Hi, coming in, I'm sorry. We, we. We're concentrating. You have yeah. to. Christy's here. Hello, Christy. Um, you have to concentrate when you're cutting a eraser. Otherwise, you do things like cut your fingers. Yeah. And Lisa's already done that this week, so she's not allowed okay. to do that again. Don't want to do that again. It was Sunday morning you did that, wasn't it, Lisa? Uh, yeah, I think it was. Mm-hmm. Oh, and guys, I'm sorry. I have not gotten the Hangout information together. I apologize. Um, that is on my agenda for tomorrow. But spending time with Stephanie was kind of more important. Sorry, yeah. more important than y'all. I promise what you need is um, papers, like, 12, like scrapbook paper you don't like maybe, and some corrugated cardboard. I might put some fi fabric on mine. How about you, Lisa? That sounds like a great idea. And um, it's all going to be six by six when we get it all. So, it's, so um, yeah, I need to get Linda some more information, I think. I haven't talked to Linda <laughs> in a couple of weeks. Um, but... It's all stuff you should have. It's not stuff that you're going to have to run out and get. But you are going to want some corrugated cardboard, I think. Because I think that's what I'm going to use for my in for my cover. Not on the outside, but just as the basis of my cover. Or some kind of heavy tag board or something. This is your cloth book you're going to do? No, no, not, our, not the cloth book Lisa's going to do the... We do a hangout every month, like you were right. with us last month. This is for our July hangout. I have, I is the, the video is my responsibility, and I haven't done it. So I was bad. <laughs> I was bad. She was bad, 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 bad. So you mean you have a life? Eh, well, I have a sister. <laughs> well, aren't you blessed? I actually have two of them, but, you know, only one of them was here to see me. Norma, I'm wearing your bracelet, and I'm wearing the one that Beth gave me. And every time I look at them, I remember not just the two of you, but all my YouTube and Facebook friends who've been praying for me. And it's like I'm wearing hugs. So thank you Aww. very much for the bracelet, and thank you, Beth. Don't think Beth's here, but... Um, those are my hugs. <laughs> they represent all of you out there. <laughs> well, those are cool hugs. I think so. Okay, I'm going to test my stamp. I know around the edges. Okay, I'm going to go to you. Okay, um, I know that around the edges it is not good, but I'm thinking I might like it with the edge on it. So go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test it before I go in and try to cut it. Oh, oh, look. I, I like it. I like the edge. I like the edge. It's not everywhere, but I like the edge. And I actually kind of like the fact that it's not perfect. Yeah. This one right there, I think I'll straighten up a little bit. So. Yeah, I like the edge on it, too. Okay, good. So everybody agrees. We, we like the edge. 
That may not be something I can straighten up. All right. <laughs> so is, is Becky still here? She so, was a minute ago. Yeah, she's still here. She just she just commented. Switch switch it to me and let me show you my aunt Beck. All righty. <laughs> there we go. This is um, the lady came to our quilt show some years back, and this is a little metal thimble that you put under the thing when you're doing hand quilting. Oh, uh huh. And it's called an Aunt Beck. <laughs> well, how cool is that? I don't think it's named for you, Becky. <laughs> oh, Beth, you are here. I was just showing off oh, my. I see Beth. There <laughs> Oh, thank you, Cheryl. <laughs> that is cool. That is cool. Anyway, yes, I needed it for this. Okay. Okay, I'm going to ink mine up too here. I, I okay. didn't have his eyes done, so let me find it. Throw the paper. Stuff away and then test mine. I think I'm going to cut around it first. Well, there's my cubby. Oh, sweet. <laughs> oh, I'm I love him. He's, uh, he's fabulous. You did that in such a hurry. Here I am. All I'm doing is cutting little lines, and, and, and you've cut a whole fancy stamp. Well, I don't be very precise, and that probably helps helps it go faster. <laughs> well, do you? Th I wasn't all that precise either. I just got one little corner I don't like because the the stripe is okay. That's better. That's better. Okay, I'm happy. Okay, well, I'm I'm happy with that. I do need okay. to take out a little bit right here. See if there's any. Okay. That will have to mostly go on a stamp or something. I mean, a tag or something because it's, you know, That's it's a cut. good size. Isn't that sweet? I'm going to do one for my kitty now. Of course, you could just ink up the face. But I didn't do such a great job with the face. He's, he's not really that round. He, he really should dip in there. But. But honey, he looks like a puppy dog, and that's you know, Does. he looks yeah, I think he's good, I think he's fabulous. Well, so, thank now thank I, you. Have, I have to decide on my next texture. So, I'm putting a, a handle on my stamp. Do you all put handles on your stamps? Um, not that kind usually, but, um, I have this tack it over and over stuff. Yes, I have done that. And then I can stick it on a block if I really want to. Okay, so if I have that one. Okay. We're going to try it out. We just got a new toothbrush that had these great pieces of tissue. And no, 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 it wasn't the toothbrush. It was the new drapes. It had this great pieces of tissue in the packaging. I was going to say, how in the world did you get tissue in your... Um, <laughs> That's what I was wondering. Your no, it wasn't. I misspoke. <laughs> misspoke myself. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do. Okay, get me some stuff. Holly said it looked like the photo, Lisa. Yeah, her dog, yes, it mm -hmm. does. It does, it does. Holly, it, I didn't see you come in. I just didn't give him that indention on the sides that um should really be there but um i'm 
I like it better than I thought I was going to do. I mean, I didn't think I would do this good, so I'm happy. <laughs> that was good, Barbara. Looks perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see where I want to play a little on it. This is where I'm screwed up. <laughs> Don't screw it up. Okay. Well, I am going to try to get these circles. Lisa, I, I this is an experiment, guys. So you want to see this? I do. Wow, I do. Okay. I have this funny little thing that is from the dollar store. It is a Lego base. Right? Okay. Okay. And I want circles on this piece. And my punchinella is too far away. I don't know where it is exactly. So what I'm going to try and do is ink yes. this thing. We'll see if it's going to ink. I don't know if it's going to ink. I might have to try something else. And put the circles on there. Ta-da! Can you yep. see them? Yeah, oh, there. Look at that. Now, they are water-based, so they're going to wipe right off. But if I color them in now with the, with the pencil, then I can probably draw them. So... We'll see how it goes. So now you can go back to Barbara's because she's inking her stamp. Oh, I'm I'm cleaning I'm cleaning it off now. Well, I'm going to move to me for a second and show you what I'm doing next. Yeah, because I have decided that's not going to work. So. Oh. Well, some of them are off the edge back of another eraser. This is a stamp that I've already done, and I drew this one, but then I never did carve it. So. I'm oh, yeah, that, there you go. that way I can get double duty, see, out of this one. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I was oh, thinking oh, I might be able to do that to these, too. Yeah, I think you probably can. Um, it's, it's pretty thick. Okay. My if head's going to get While you're working and you don't dig down too deep. Yeah. Okay. The reason the first idea didn't work is because part of the circles were off the edge, and that's not going to work well. Oh. Cheryl says that's a big eraser. Beth says, can you all show some of your other homemade stamps? Sure. Well, you could I'll put it on you, Barbara, and let you show yours, and then I'll show mine. And I don't have any. She doesn't have any. Well, that's then. the first one I've I've made. Oh my in god, so that's long. the first one. Well, not, not. I can't tell you that because you know years ago I carved stamps, but I haven't carved stamps in a long time. So, you know, I don't have any that I have carved in the past. These are. Okay. This group right here, are you on me? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. This group is all home car stamps. Let's see what else I got in here. This is one of my favorites. And then I carved one of me. Cool. And I've got them all in boxes. I did carve December last year, and um, so they're out and about. And that's one of the things I'm going to do this year. I think I'm 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 going to go ahead and try to do that. Well, do I am, it. This is our practice. Yeah, Christmas in July. This is our practice. I know. Carve December and July. So here's this yeah. one. Oh, I like that. Here's this one. You can see him. This one. Oh, what did I get on here? Oh, it's just glue or something. This has got the sticky stuff on the back of it, but that kind of gets in my way. 
this is one of my carved two of my carved December ones. Can I interrupt you a minute? While you're while, when you're done showing that, show Christy your tools, what you use to carve with. I um, my first set was this little set that comes with four blades from um, it comes in a set. It's a speed ball. It the one with in, the red handle, or um, no, it's the speed ball one like this. It's like about twenty bucks. Okay. And you get a little piece of the pink plastic stuff in it and you get four blades maybe uh -huh. and then uh, later I got the bigger one that had six blades it's another speed ball it keeps the blades in here and it's got that complex loading system that Tanya was this Tanya's fighting about. with again mm -hmm. was, yeah. are you fighting with it again yes I'm fighting with I it always again. fight with that one too so I don't like it as much um, so I keep the big V in that one and don't mess with it. And then I move the little ones into this uh -huh. wooden handle one. And I like the wooden handle one. It's, it's a good size. This is a good size too, but I like the wooden handle one. The wooden, uh, the kit that if you buy the whole carving kit, it comes with a block of this stuff and it comes with some patterns that you can use. And, um, you you trace a pattern with graphite just a pencil number two pencil and then turn it upside down onto the pink stuff and rub it off with the like the end of the the smooth end of a pencil or a paintbrush mm -hmm. and and you transfer your image onto the carving medium that way well let me put it to you very simply I hate this tool enough that if I'm going to do dot carve December, I'm going to go buy a set that's some other set. I don't like this tool at all. I've had I have all kinds of blades in different exacto sets, and this thing is a pain. I wonder if my exacto knife would hold those blades. Oh, I don't know. I don't think they have the same. No, it does not have the same curved thing. Well, yes, it does. Does it? Well, there you go. Well, I'm going to show you, Tonya. You can yeah. show them the. Oh, I just got it put back together. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's okay. But um, I'll take it apart. This I don't think it's going. to, I can't get it apart. But my exacto blades they're they're so old that they're uh, in a bad way. But I'll take this thing apart and show everybody. Basically, it come it came with five blades and the handle and the hand it's just a speedball one well yeah, I can get mine apart I've got that same one yeah the that's, handle that's is the one I have too the handle holds the little blades so you can right. put all your little blades in it and um I don't mind taking it apart Lisa because it's just one of those things that it's a it's a uh, it's an armory little sucker okay so it comes apart you have the blade and these three pieces and this barrel is just the right size for the blade to sit on it. And then this piece, this little tiny shim goes over it. And then this piece goes on. But you must put it in from two ends. You have to put these two pieces in from the end that screws on. And then you put this piece in. On the other side so if you take it apart you can put them together and then drop that other little piece in there it's just irritating and you know guys I'm I'm tired so you know I'm more irritated tonight than normal well I um, have that same said and I don't take mine all the way apart I just loosen it up and then slide the blade in it wouldn't go I've, I've tried that so many times and it doesn't want to go in okay so i don't know it might just be that how old is your set i don't know i got it um i got it a, about two years ago at mm -hmm. a re um, a reclaim kind of yeah. salvage place so who knows how old it is <laughs> well, here's the reason i say that lisa is because um this quite frankly this end is 
kind of on the cheapy side. Well, you know, when I, take any... this, when I take this out, you guys, I, I just loosen it a hair. Yep. Just a hair, take it out and take it out, and then the next one should go in. But see, I've but don't loosened, burn it so much. Yeah, I've loosened it and I can't pull it out. Oh, how weird. okay. And I have to loosen it so much that see, I still I've loosened it a lot and I still can't pull it out. Maybe huh. there's something faulty in that one. There's something about it that does not want to behave. Hold so, yours sideways. It looks like it's deeper into the handle than mine is. Is it? No, it looks the same. It's the same. It's, it's right. Yeah. So oh. anyways, um, it's just one of those things that you have to kind of get used to. So I'll figure it out. I'll get used to it, but it's still going to irritate me. Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. We got to do this the right way here. Okay, I'm going to do another test print. Okay, go, can go away. I'll print some of these other things too long. Well, we've got somebody in the chat who has to take theirs all apart like yours to make it work, and someone else who can just open it up and use it like I can. So, yeah, it, um, uh, maybe each one, maybe they're just not consistent quality control. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm wondering if, if the newer ones are just not as as well built as some of the older things. Cause I'm going to tell you, there's a lot of stuff that I see now that I have have that's older, that is way better. And that's not working real well either. So, you know, sometimes it's a, it's about the quality of it and, and the lack of quality. And okay. I don't like that one. We don't, I don't like that. We'll just start on a different one. We'll do something different. So you're not on me, are you, Lisa? Yeah. You want me oh, to move no. off of me? Yeah, move off of me because I'm I'm having a um okay. Of those. Here I'll show you my I uh, show you my carved December from Alrighty. two years ago. And Violet said that hers is working like mine. It's, yeah. You know. Yeah, it shouldn't do that. I like uh um Becky oh. said she likes the wooden one. I like the wooden one too. Kendra's here so, too. So I uh, did my planning on these little, I don't know where I got these from, a Zentangle website or something where you get blank Zentangle things. Can y'all see that? Yeah. Um, so I did my planning on those little things, and then I carved my stamps. I, I was doing just uh, inches at first, and then I did words. I did this one triple spiral and then I got into doing houses <laughs> I got into playing with with strange scraps and pieces and um, did houses I love your little houses and when she gets done Lisa um, they wanted you to show all your curved stamps too so okay and, I will yeah. And then this was um, this this ended up how the rose looks. It it was like this, and I printed it out like that once, but I didn't really think I would ever have use for that. Yeah, it's cute though. And yeah, so Kendra, all, I don't. All that surrounding stuff is gone, and it's just the little rose. And then these are just little quarter. You know, this isn't a twinchy, but um, and this is a twinchy. These are all twinchies. This is one of my favorite ones. Is that showing? Looks like fire. It, this is the thing when it's printed out. It's pretty. And this is this one. And then a bunch of these littler patterny ones. Some more words. Yeah, that was fun. Okay, that's it. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna stamp them all out for y'all again. I thought, well, wait a minute. I have them stamped out somewhere, don't I? That was pretty smart thinking. I know. <laughs> Saved you a lot of trouble. 
Do you guys scan your artwork? I no. have some of mine, but not much. I do. I scan everything I do. Is that weird or what? No, I no. think it's smart. <laughs> do you? I, yeah. I don't think it's weird. Okay, well, I'm going to show my stamps real quick here. I still but, feel I'm so new at all this that I'm, I marvel at them. <laughs> okay. Most of these were carved a long time ago. Um, um, I want to say in 2016, but I'm not positive. <clears throat> this is a tree. And then um, this one's newer than that. These three are newer than that. But um, these were done on those big erasers. So there's a flower and a swirly thing and kind of a Southwest aztec -y looking. I like that. Um, this says art. That I, like that one too. I need to take down the rest of this stuff better because I, I get a lot of, of course, sometimes I like that a lot of, you know, the echo of this stuff. Oh, I like that too. Especially in that one when you use it, Lisa. Yeah. And so. this is just a design that I did on this eraser. And then on the other side, I did a feather. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. I, I honestly, I don't know if I've ever even stamped it out. Let me, <laughs> let's, let's stamp it out and see what it looks Why like. Not? Um, We have a bunch of people that just arrived. Hello, Kathy and Jennifer and um, Kendra. Yeah, I know it. I know how it's supposed to work. It just doesn't seem to work that way. So there's something okay. about it that's ornery. I don't know exactly what's doing. Hi, ladies. I'm glad you're here. I did other feathers that I like better, and I think that's probably why I never stamped this one out. Oh, oh, but that's, that's lovely. lovely. Let me show you the other ones. Here's the <laughs> other ones. There's two on this stamp and then one here. Oh, nice. So That's lovely. I think I've seen you use that big one. This one? Yeah, I think so. I may be wrong, but I've used this one um on some envelopes a couple of times. I used both of these. Now I'm getting my hands all gross. Well, that's, isn't that normal? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and here's a bird. Little birdie. Oh, he's cute. Let's show you what he looks like because I don't have mine all stamped out like Barbara does. She's smart. What do you mean? Oh, stamped out. That's just because I was recording Carved December. Anyway, he's very a very quirky little bird. And um, I did this one the other night. This flower. Oh, like I like on last Monday night. Not the one we just had, but the one before that. And then I've got this house. I think my ink pad's low. <laughs> That's part of the problem. I remember when you did the little house. I like that. And there's that little house. And then I did this one too. I love the little house. I love both the little houses. So I like those. And I've got this kind of quirky circular design. Kind of oh, a square yeah. circle. <laughs> square spiral. Or hexagonal spiral. I've made one of those too. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Barbara really likes your feathers. And Kathy likes a little bird. And that's just a little design. And then I've got... Um, and Holly, did we say hello to you? I hope so. I hope so too. I think we did. Okay. Hi, Holly. Oops. All right. I think I'm going to this a little bit better. I really uh, need to get out my other ink pad, I think. Oh, maybe I want to do a little jelly with this. 
I like that one, but it's not inking. It's not things aren't inking very well right now. I need to find my other ink pad. I think I've got it in the house. I love oh, that. That's that's fabulous, Lisa. I love the little city. It's it's fun. I'm just not getting it to ink up very good right now. And okay. this is my bamboo. I like that one too. And then I've got these two that were made out of a, the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that I made borders. Made out of the Leaning Tower of Pisa? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh-huh. See, you can make anything into a stamp. <laughs> oh, it had the Leaning Tower of Pisa on the, on the one yeah, side. Yeah, that's what the eraser was. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, one of those Dollar Tree erasers. I have a couple of those too that I got um, a while ago. Now here's the other thing too is that you know my husband has a whole set of carving tools out in the shed that um, would definitely carve erasers. Whether or not it would hurt them and he would have a fit or not, I don't know. <laughs> Does he do a lot of wood carving with them? Oh, I like that one. He has in the past, Barbara, but here lately he hasn't had time um we actually i don't know if you've ever if y'all have ever heard of war eagle but war eagle arkansas has um they have wood carving classes it's a it's actually a farm in arkansas and we went there when we lived in nebraska he went there and took a class he's taking classes with some national carvers when we were in alabama but it's been a while since he carved very much. And one of his favorite things is old men. And he does a lot of walking sticks. When when my son was in scouts, um, everybody had walking sticks that he had made and um, carved. He did a lot of old men faces on the walking sticks because, you know, that's kind of they they lend themselves well to walking sticks. So. But I don't know if he would uh, appreciate it if I carved erasers with them. If he doesn't mind, I may use those for carved December, though, because they're um, fixed blades. They're called flex script tools, I think, is what his biggest, the biggest batch of them are. Well, maybe he would let you have a couple of them, like the uh, small, little tiny the ones. V and the size. Mm -hmm. For me and the size, I'd love to have a size three U, but the only U I can get is a four. Well, um, the other thing is, is they, 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 you hold them a little different. So I don't know if they would really work well. I'd have to well, ask yeah, them and they're try. Longer. They're longer. No, they're actually shorter. His are, okay. his are, his are short. They're all, they're shorter, but they have a wider they're designed to put your hand at the end of it and and force it so okay. the ball, there's a bigger ball at the end is what i'm trying to say oh okay basket weave um yeah right here Dennis loving the basket weave i like that basket weave and and uh, norma's been to war eagle yeah it's not very far from you i made this branch out of a statue of liberty Oh, you're just making the basket weave by putting down a whole bunch yeah. of iterations of one stamp. Right. Exactly. I love that. If you make the stamp, you know, two by one, then it right. makes a perfect basket weave. Wow. What a great idea. Look at that. That's cool, Eva. Eagle sang a song about the Dal oh, Dalton Brothers. Okay. <laughs> Eva's here too. Hello, Eva. Hi, Eva. We're yeah. Glad you're here. Norma, it's um it we also went to oh, I can't remember. There's another town near uh War Eagle that we went to that's full of an uh, all kinds of artist 
shops and boutiques and things. We went there on the weekend to, to check it out. And that was fun. So. Those are so cool, Lisa. Well, I just have so many millions of them. <laughs> well, you know, I have all those rubber stamps that, you know, those uh, store-bought rubber stamps, and I hardly ever use them. Here's some more leaves. I made a card um, today with one of my with my little uh, articulated guy and my carved leaves that I did and carved December. Here's my itty bitty Christmas trees. How fun, Barb. Oh, that's cute. It's so tiny. Oh, those are cute, Lisa. Those are really cute. Look at those. And then here's a, a corner piece. Uh-oh, Eva says she tried, but she cut herself. That is not good. <laughs> yes, well, me too. Me too, Eva. <laughs> Here's just some cur cur curvy lines. But I've got my aunt back now. I won't hurt myself. And I really like this one. This is one of my favorite ones, I think, right here. Let me. Oh, those wigglies? No, the one I'm fixing to do. I like the wigglies. Um, hummingbird. Norma, we want to come back and visit there again. That's for sure. The hummingbird. Oh, yeah. <gasps> yes, I love your hummingbird. No I mean, kidding. This one's some leaves, but I haven't ever stamped it off, so I don't know if it how good it looks. But I'll. Um, Jennifer it. thinks that maybe you should do your own stamp line. Well, yeah. Well, I'm doing my own stamps for me. <laughs> I don't know how you would turn it into a line. Uh, you have to go to one of the companies that will make rubber stamps for you. Yeah. If you ever decide to do that, I bet I can, I can send you to the right person to ask. She's in Wisconsin. Okay. Yeah. I don't think she, she, I think hers are done by somebody for her, but I bet you she would tell you who it was. And then I have a whole bunch of these that um, I'm not going to stamp them all off because I don't really like these as much. But what they are is little dinosaur shapes. Look at my hands. <laughs> okay, Teresa said those are really nice and to say hi. Hi, Teresa. And Norma hi, Teresa. says if you do make a stamp line, she wants you to be called. She wants to be called. And <laughs> Jennifer wants to buy them all too. Okay. Those are cute little creatures. Here's some little dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. And um, I'll do a few of them. And I, these were the very first ones I did. <laughs> were these dinosaurs? So, you guys, it's really easy to carve stamps. You should not fear it. No, it doesn't. You know, you, you just, don't need to go buy hers. You could just, you know. Buy you some little dinosaurs. <laughs> buy these dollar, you know, five euros. Maybe not afraid. Yeah. And carve away. And I just kind of made these all these little leafy th bloom things, you know, to the uh, shape of whatever the dinosaur was. I love it because <laughs> it doesn't read like a dinosaur when you got a no. leaf. It looks like a leaf. Here's one that's really weird. But this was a weird little dinosaur. <laughs> he had an odd shape when you turned him upside down, but those are really cool, Lisa. <laughs> they really are. So, and these others are pretty much like those were. Well, here's one that's a little bit different. I think those are great. 
they're so organic. And the thing about carving your own stamps is that they're they're your own so. designs. Well, and then this one I'm doing is not my own. But. And then I've got well, let me put all these back up because they're just taking up a ton of room here. Um. I, you, you don't think you've got that many to you get about and try to stamp them all. I know. <laughs> Goodness, there's a bunch of those. And yeah. then I've got these kind of like Tanya's doing right now. Um, that are a puzzle. Oh, look at that. Turn them over. That that is easier to very see. neat. Oh, that's a really, that puzzle's a little. That is very, that very neat. Oh, that's got more pieces. No, maybe not. Yeah, this one has nine pieces. Okay, it does have, it is bigger. But they're very thick, so I could definitely do some on the other side. Uh huh. And then you get a totally different pattern when you hook them together. Yeah. Isn't that fun? I totally but love that. Let the me only thing over and show you something. Uh huh. Um, it's not, oh, well, maybe I'm wrong. I was going to say it's not even put together right. Um, no, it's not. See, so you can change the pattern. Uh huh. Well, and the other thing is, is when you when you stamp that out as a whole piece, Lisa, do you put it on a block? No. What I do is, I do this one and stamp it, and then I do this one and line it up and stamp it, and do this one and line it up and stamp it. Okay, because if you only if you only carved one side, you could put a little sticky stuff on there and put it on a block. Yeah, you so could. that you could that that way you could rearrange the pieces and everything. But uh, mostly, I've done when I've done them on a page, I've done them like the puzzle was taken apart. Uh huh. You know, I haven't done them as a whole puzzle except a couple of times. I think that's one of my favorite ones right there. I love that. I love the whole thing. I love the whole idea of putting mm -hmm. the pieces together. And somebody asked how long I've been carving stamps. I carved stamps. For probably two months straight, that was all I did uh, back in 2016. And then I hadn't done it again until recently. So it was one of those things that I, I tend to be a serial, you know, person. I do a bunch of something and then I don't do it for a while. And then I go back and do some more. Don't carve in the direction of your design because you will screw it up. Trust me. Let okay, me say that again. Us. Don't, don't carve in the direction of your design because you'll screw it up. I doubt if you can see this. I'll have to. I'll have to put my other glasses back on. But I screwed it up. Okay. But I'm going to go ahead anyway. It's just going to have a nick in it. Yeah, I have several of those, and I still like them. I know. They still. They still stamp good. They just look more handmade. <laughs> So you were carving into the points and I was of, carving oh. like this. Uh -huh. Carving like this. Yeah. I went pull straight to it. Straight yep. to it. And I know better. I tell you something I just found out. What's that? That um these wet ones take off ink where baby wipes won't. Oh. Huh. Okay. And I um I was surprised that I got my hands this clean. Okay. So um, I ran out of baby wipes. This was all I could find in my house. So, actually, I got those out of the car. Okay. Where's my flower? Oh, I, I put it back in here with everything. I don't think I have any of those, but then that's. There we go. I, I, ha I have, you know, baby wipes in here in the studio, and that's the only place I keep much of anything like that, so. You're not oh, alone, Norma. My daughter says that she and I are professional amateurs. <laughs> oh, that's a good way to look at it. <laughs> professional <Serial> amateurs. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. <coughs> it always cool. amazes me that when I watch y'all carve that you don't slice your fingers off. <laughs> well, yes. Of course, you know, too, um, I used to carve um, linoleum box, too, and 
it's been a long time since that's ages since I did that. Those are a lot harder to carve, aren't they? Um, I, they carve differently. You have to be more careful, and but you don't carve them as you don't. It, it it's different. Um, they will take a finer line, so you can carve a more intricate design. I think. Mm. Yeah. And because they are harder, they um. Well, I don't know. I think they're a little cleaner, but you also ink them with something a lot different, so you don't have to carve very deep. Because the ink you use is real stiff. Actually, these cut with a kitchen knife pretty good, too. Kitchen scissors. Kitchen scissors? Uh-huh. Yeah, when I have a lot of stuff to move, I just use one of these little box cutter kind. This is an exacto oh, yeah. kind of box cutter. It's, it's got a slender, slenderer blade than some other box cutters, but still, that'll move. You know, you can cut cut away a lot of stuff with that. Like around the outside edges and yeah. Mm -hmm. Like when I was carving this one with Cubby, I just sliced, I mean, just cut, you know, all around it real fast and got rid of the extra the stuff. What was that um, eraser? Because that looked interesting shape. It was, um, let me find it. Where's it? Here. It was one I of the. I have enough. Thank you very much. A, um, it's a Star Wars eraser from um, Dollar Tree. Okay. I mean, it's not like something you would really erase with. I mean, who would want to hold this and try to erase with it? I don't know. You're not showing yourself. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Let me show myself. It was like this. And I just put him in the middle and then I cut off all the extra. And if I had been smart, you know, I could have moved him over here and saved some, but. Oh, but all was, that, you'll use all that extra to make a curved, um, to make something, some little border that's curved. I probably could, except I threw it away. <gasps> that's sacrilege. Don't hate me. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of the habit of thinking I have to save everything. I save all these little things, you guys. Let um, me look over there. Kathy, yeah, you have to, you, 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 when you ink a, a linoleum block, you usually put out real thick ink on some, on a, a surface, and then you ink it with a soft sprayer. That's, that's what we did. And excuse me, guys, I'll be right back. I have to find out if this is my sister. Okay, go ahead. God, I hope her sister gets home. I hope so, too. Okay. I'll tell y'all what she just said. Um, just one second. Let me answer. She said that earlier I got a message that said that her original flight had been diverted to Destin, which is not very far from here, and then it wouldn't get to Philadelphia until 11 o'clock oh, well right. i was thinking that would put her home but philadelphia was her stop in the middle would have put her home at like two or three o'clock in the morning um but apparently she's just boarded her second flight so um she she says she's boarding now for her second flight so she should be home in a few hours Oh, good. I mean, they will have to drive from LaGuardia, which is a white ways, but so she's going to make it. So, okay. Now I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. That's God okay. Time. We're glad to know. Yeah, me too. I'm just really glad that she's going to make it because she was a little worried about it. This summer job is a big deal. So. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. Um, 12 inch glazed tile. Yes, Becky, that works really well for inking linoleum. Mm hmm. Okay. okay. I interrupted somebody and I apologize. That's all right. We've all lost our train of thought anyway. <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad it's not just me. <laughs> Doesn't matter. All right, let's give this a test test drive. All right, we're all waiting. Oh, well, it's coming. Oh, I love that circles one. Isn't that nice? That's just drawing circles from my circle. You know, I've got a circle pattern. Uh-huh. Just drawing a bunch of different circles, different sizes. I like it. I may have to do one of those. I think that idea may have come from um, Caged Fish. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. She loves circles. I know. And she does a lot of a lot of these. Okay, this is I have to be smallish. Let's see how we do. Way too big, but it's all right. Okay. When I carved this picture of myself, I um, took a selfie that I liked, and and um, see, it actually almost looks like me. I they took a selfie on night and then I posterized it and printed it tiny and then traced it. Oh, that's a cool idea. It is. I should have done that with Cubby. That would have been a lot easier. Well, I don't draw very good. I don't either. Oh, oh cute. cute. That's very cute. See my my boo-boo. It's always gonna have a boo-boo, but I have a black pen for that. Well, we don't see it. It's fine. That's right. It's okay. Oops, I just made one. Chrissy, I don't think she kept all her little shavings. She keeps all of her little chunks of rubber like that that. Lisa threw away the extra pieces off the cubby thing. Yeah. I keep, go see, ahead. Bro. I keep those. I do. Violet, that's 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 a good way to transfer those. Um, Mary does that all the time. I just drew directly on the stamp. Are you still on me? Yep. Um, yes. Christy asked why I'm saving all these little shavings. So say some little thing like this, you could do little hatch marks across it or something like that. And then you have just a little stripey stamp. And uh, so I just keep them. You know, I, I probably won't ever do anything with them. And eventually when I get tired of moving them around out of my little box of tools, I'll throw them out. But they seem to be big enough to make into something. This is how I do mine. I get tracing paper and um, do it with pencil on there and then rub it onto the top of the carving stuff. And why I'm keeping that pattern in there, I do not know. <laughs> don't ask me. I don't know. Okay. So, see, I got two little boo boos on here. Oh, well. Oh, listen to this. Susan says Mary semi melted a pile of shavings with her heat tool and made a stamp out of them. <gasps> what? Okay. Mary, what did you do? I would like to see that. <laughs> well, I'm going to go get something I have to show you. I'll be right back. All righty. 
Mary, Mary, tell us the story. Yeah, exactly, Violet. That's what I do. I draw it onto paper or trace. I use tracing paper often to trace, like if I see a flower I like in a magazine or something. I kind of do it the opposite. I put the paper, the stuff down on here, and then I turn it over and then I draw on this. And you can see where it came off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it just totally works. The same thing, they're just backwards from each other. And Tanya will be back in a minute and we'll move it to her so she can show us. Well. Are you back, Tanya? Not yet, I guess. Did you just say was I back? Yeah. I want to move just over to you. Okay, I, I I hadn't put my headset back on, so. Oh, that's okay. Um, yeah, this is. Okay, so y'all know I used to sell Stampin' Up stamps, and Stampin' Up stamps used to come in kits unmounted on the wood. Yeah. So every last stamp had to be trimmed. So um, talk about this, shavings. Okay, this is shavings. Now, here's the thing. And I have, I, I probably threw away a bunch of them because, you know, you can only use so many of them. We used to take these little shavings and stick them to things in patterns. Yes. And um, you can cut these with, uh, I have a pair of scissors that Stampin' Up! used to sell, but... Um, the Tim Holtz scissors, almost the same scissors. And um, these have foam backings on them and they're sticky on the back. So you can take these little pieces and stick them and make your own really cool designs. And so Barbara, you could take your little chunks and put them all on something. I could. As long as they were the same level, you would have that. cool, cool designs. That would be good. So. Hi, um, and I'm going to tell you what, I threw stuff away and threw stuff away and threw stuff away. This is the only bag I kept, but look at how big this bag is. <laughs> so that's, that's plenty, I think. And that I'll looks you, like, yes, you have plenty of little stamps from that. Yeah, and I don't know if you could carve this stuff or not. Let's put this down someplace that I'll have to pick it up next week or next month. Um, okay. Well, it looks like you could carve it, whether or not it would, um, no, it does not carve very well. It's not taking anything out of it. It's just kind of scratching over the surface. That's like, that red rubber that they make their stamps out of? Yeah, it, it's not going to carve easily, that's for sure. Yeah, it even with a bigger flatter tool it doesn't carve easily but you could cut shapes out of it that kind of thing so just think of all the little things that she can do with all those little pieces she just put in there hello Deborah guys if we have missed anybody coming in hello hello oh Nancy's here hi Nancy Mary made oh Mary the shavings into a, a texture stamp she's she's yeah, like, she the shavings. carving uh -huh. She was here earlier, but I think she was carving, so she yeah. may be. She's probably thinking. Almost. Okay, I'm going to show you my flower now. Okay. I think it turned out pretty cute. Oh, it did. You're all finished. It out quite cute. See, now we've got to do some jelly printing with all these new stamps. You just have to have a painty paper party. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I will ink on top of my jelly prints, but I'm not going to use these on the jelly plate because I'm not good at cleaning things up. And oh. I don't want to mess them up where I can't use ink anymore. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. Um, oh. Now, when you cl I clean my brayer by throwing it in a tub of water and just leaving it sit there, and the, the acrylic paint will eventually flop off of it. And yeah. I mean 
flap off of it. So I would think on the rubber stamps that it would do the same thing, but it might harden on the rubber stamps. So I don't know. Yeah. Well, I was just thinking of getting in all these little these little places and not coming yeah. out. Mm -hmm. I just decided it wasn't worth it. I have a bunch of oh. stuff I got at thrift stores that I use on the jelly plate. You yeah. know, these kinds of things. Um, oh, that is so cool, Lisa. So, yeah, I'm very happy with it. I just need a better ink pad. This one's... Um, Decided to be dry? Yeah. Um, I yeah. had to I had to order um, re-inkers for my for my stays on and my vintage photo recently. Now that I think about it, I have a re-inker somewhere. Well, I thought I had a stays on re-inker, but I couldn't find it. I was not happy with myself, but that doesn't mean anything. You all know I still can't find my heat tool. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> no, I've been looking for three weeks. I've, I've got moms, so Sunday I can do the project, but um, I mean, I went and got moms out of the drawer. I, she doesn't use it, so it's not a big deal, but I don't know where mine is. I, it has a home, and it's not in its home. I've, I've tore the studio apart. I, of course, the studio's a disaster, and I've been cleaning up, and I still can't find it. So. I don't know where it's at. I've almost decided that it left home. It was probably so sick of the studio being so messy that it left home. <laughs> it just ran away. Yeah, it ran away. I'm sure it did. Jeffrey's going to run away someday because of all the mess. But, you know, so far he's put up with it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my poor Darren. He's <laughs> he is a neat, neat person. No clutter. <sighs> And he's married to a clutter bug and has two children who are just the same. Oh, Lisa, so is mine. Mine is the neatest person. He swears, he keeps swearing he's going to get a, a dump truck and throw all my stuff in it. But <laughs> he hasn't done it in 30 some years, so I don't think he's really going to do it. October is 35 years. Wow, oh, good for you. Mm -hmm. We're just going to be 23 this year. Yeah, 35. My kid will be 29 this year, so. And and now I will tell you, Brandon, when growing up, Brandon was as, just as messy as me. Oh, my word, that child was messy. But now he is very neat and clean. He scrubs things very well. Yeah. Well, my, I remember my brother when he was at home, you know, he was, I mean, he was just a mess, but when he got out on his own, he became very neat. So um, I have hope for my kids, but <laughs> Beth, is this the one you're talking about? When you ask how I came up with the design, if it is, I'll tell you, I just drew it. I just decided it would be fun. I drew these first and then I filled in these and made them whatever size would fit inside. And that's how I did that one. And this one, I just drew it on too. And it was one of those things I kind of did like this and then filled in. How did it have a, an opening in the center of it? It was a donut. It was a donut stamp. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was a donut eraser. Yeah, I mean, a donut you know what eraser. else you could do with those? You could do more intricate uh, mandalas and stuff. You could, yeah. But that, that, have, that looks like yeah. a mandala. If I see them again, I'll buy some more, but I haven't ever seen them again. It looks, Beth says it looks like rabbit ears. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. Mm -hmm. Rabbit ear flowers. Holly says hers is going to be 35 July 21st. Yay, Holly. Mm -hmm. You are just practically there. Okay. Oh, Susan says to use a little water and glycerin on your pad. On your ink pad. Ah, that's a good idea. I, I've got some glycerin somewhere. <laughs> like I've got reinkers somewhere. And I bought it because I saw Lindsay the Frugal Crafter talk about doing that. <laughs> <laughs> See, this this thing won't even take this. I can't even unloosen it just a little and take the blade out. That is bizarre that it's gotten, it maybe got down in there too tight. 
Well, I only have to have like less than a quarter turn and my blade comes right out. Yeah. Uh, well, I have to turn mine several times. You do? To get it to cut. Yeah, you just, well, yeah, I have to turn it several times. It has to be cut pretty loose. And I think it's because this is not straight up. You know mm -hmm. what? Y'all might have yours loaded funky. There's a there's a way to set that in there. There's a little kind of a what do you call um, it? Beth, you can usually buy glycerin at the uh, pharmacy. Um, because I, I used to buy glycerin to um, put on my hands when we made fruit cake because it keeps your hands from um, sticking to stuff. So. Okay. Is that where you got yours, Lisa, at the pharmacy? Um. That's where I, well, at the pharmacy part of Walmart mm -hmm. is where I got it this last time. But when I bought, was buying it to make my own jelly plate, uh -huh. I bought it at Natural Grocers because they have it in a big bottle that is a lot cheaper than buying it at the pharmacy. Okay, guys, I'm going to tell you, it just went right in. Now, it's not set in there very well, but it's in that time now. We'll see how it does, but it just went in perfectly that time. Well, yummy. So there's a little kind of thing in there, a grommet or something that, well, I don't know what you call that. Well, there's, I have oh. had it, I've had it head completely apart. Oh, are those new houses, Lisa? Yeah. Well, these I drew this when I drew those other ones, I drew uh -huh. a whole bunch of them. And these are the ones I haven't carved yet, but I just drew these right on the eraser, you know, um, I love those houses. And then here's some little books. I thought I would try those. Haven't been brave enough to try those yet. And then here's oh, the, I love the books. Couple I love the books. Ones. <laughs> no, Beth, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually in the first aid department. Yeah. Yeah. Glycerin? <laughs> <laughs> Beth, I don't think anybody wants to ask. <laughs> okay see beth made us laugh so hard now we all got real quiet yeah i have to keep switch, switching glasses it's like this is this is not gonna i'm not gonna last very long this way I've moved it over to you so we can see what you're doing. Uh, well, I'm still working on this, but um, I had that tiny blade in and it. I wanted to clean these out a little better. So I switched to a bigger blade. Yeah. So that I could clean them out just a little bit before I try to stamp it and see how it did. I'm actually making puzzle pieces inside the puzzle piece. Cool. Is what I decided to do on this one. Because my brain left me, you know, when the circles I wanted to do weren't working right, I my brain just kind of left me. So I just stopped and did something different. And I'll go back to the circles in a minute. I'm going to have to draw the circles in on my own. Putting them in in a pattern, didn't I didn't like it. Yeah. It, too it perfect. Just, yeah, it was too perfect. It just didn't look right. So... When I did mine, instead of putting circles and cutting around them, I just took my tool and went and made a circle and dug it out so I had my circles would be blank and everything else would be black. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, and, and that's kind and of what I was easy. <laughs> I was kind of thinking that's what I wanted, anyways, but um, it it just wasn't happening properly. So I just kind of decided I better do something different for a minute and yeah. step back. If that's what you want, when you go back in, just use your tool, just stick it in the middle and turn it in a circle and pull and, it back out. Okay. Well, that that's ought to work. Right. 
Is that how you made your circles? Did you make your mm -hmm. circles on your puzzle piece? Uh -huh. that's, how, that's how Lisa was making her circles, yes. So. I hope my head's not in the way. I don't see your head. Okay, because I'm you, right here. Um, because in the center of this flower, I'm going to do the same thing. Okay. And I just stick it Did in. Did you switch back to yourself? Oh no, I didn't. Let me do that. Might be easier to see. Yep. Mm -hmm. Just to stick it in the center and then turn it. Ah, look at there. A circle. <gasps> Then you kind of have to peel it out. Now, of course, this one didn't. I think I used the skinnier, the smaller one. The smaller tool? That. Yeah. Anyway, it made a hole. It may not be a circle, but. <laughs> okay. Well, and you know, I have I have a, a blade that's more U-shaped that might make a really nice hole if you did that with it. That's true. I have one of those too, but I didn't. I didn't think That's about it. I was trying to make it small, you know. So uh -huh. I just used the smallest one I had. Yeah, okay. But this is not the smallest one I have. And so I think that probably would have made my circle better. Because I was trying to make it this a small size with this bigger blade. And I should have just uh -huh. made it whatever size this makes and not worried about that. But um, I'll tell you, stamp carving became much easier and more fun when I gave up on trying to make it perfect. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> I was going to say, you know, um, the world is a lot more fun if you don't worry about trying to make it perfect. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to um, I'm going to stamp this one out. If you want to, um, it's on you. I want to see. I I don't know. It may have a bunch of stuff I have to clean up, so we'll see. Okay, and I'm not keeping my shavings. They're just you know too little. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not keeping mine today either. I, I'm sure that I will eventually have a lot of shavings. Um, let's see if this stamp pad has any ink in it at all. Oh, yeah, it does. Let's see. I didn't ink it very well, but it does. Oh, that's fun. Oh, that's cute. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at that. How cool is that? <laughs> it came out real cute. It looks it's it looks fun. Let me um stamp it off and just put one color so we can see what it looks like. Because that pink is really still wet. I'm surprised. Came out of a drawer at mom's, so I you know didn't know if it had any ink in it at all. Oh, I've so. got I've got re-inkers for them all because um At least all of the ones, all of the pads I have, I have re-inkers for, I should say. Um, because if I bought a pad, I would buy that re-inker at the same time. Oh, yeah. Came out pretty decent. Yeah. I think that line right there needs a little cleaning up, but it'll be fun. It'll be fun, to go, fun. With, I like that one. to go with this one. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, so, yeah, let's clean up this line just a little bit. I'm cutting mm -hmm. around the flowers with the size one in the uh. V. That is a very tiny little point. Yes, it is, but I like it best so far. Do you? Yeah. Um, it's easy for me to get it buried in the stuff. Oh, I guess maybe it's all about the way you hold it. It is. 
Oh. Come on, get out of there. But that's why I had to go back with the lighter tool because um, I had a bunch of multi little lines in there. Okay. Okay, let me look for Christy's question. How do you know what parts to carve away? That totally depends on what you want. Uh, let me get something and show you. I'm going to use these two as an example. Let me move it back to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got these two houses. And I'll use this, okay? For this one, I've carved out the lines. So I would, if I want this one to be the same way, I would just take out what I've got black. For this one, I carved out the white part and left the lines. So, um, so whatever you take away is what um, this, you know, doesn't show, and what you leave is what shows in your inking. So, if you want the like this flower, if I wanted to, I could leave everything and then just do an outline of the flower and it would then all that would show was and everything would be black except the outline of the flower but instead i took away the extra and left the just the flower um does that help it just depends on what you want like in this one i'm going to um I'm going to take away the stuff that's not black and leave the black so that it can be my outline to my um, books. That's what I'm hoping to do. I'm going to need that smaller thing, I think. Take away the stuff you don't want to show. Yeah. But um, this is probably the best example that I have of that because they're opposites. Think okay. about any rubber stamp you have. Any rubber stamp you have, the stuff that is raised up is what is going to show. So you have to cut out or take away or lower whatever parts you don't want to stamp. By lowering the amount of rubber or cutting it away, it, it goes away. Does that make sense? Maybe. Cut out the negative part. Yeah, cut out the negative part. Cut out the part you don't want to show. I'm cutting on this one. I'm cutting all around these leaves. Let me move over to you, Barbara. Okay. Yeah, oh, that's going to be pretty. So I'm cutting all the way around all of these leaves with the little tiniest blade. So I'm... Glad I haven't had my glass of wine yet. <laughs> you need steady hands. <laughs> there was something on the news tonight about a glass of wine. Glass of wine? Yeah, for women in a glass of wine. I didn't pay attention. I think it's good for us. <laughs> it, it it all depends. Um, last last time I had one, I ended up laying on the floor. Oh, uh, with something in it. Um, not all. I can't. I can drink wine sometimes. I never drink wine out in public because every once in a while something will affect me and I can't breathe. Wow. Oh, goodness. That's and serious. it's and it's not just cheap wine. Cheap wine will definitely do it. But my brother-in-law sells very expensive wine. So, and it happened at his house with something we had there. So wow. I don't drink wine very often, which is all right. I much prefer a margarita. So, <gasps> oh, that's my fave too. Well, I'm not allowed to drink beer, so you know. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe all of these should be straight lines. I wasn't going to do that. But that might be interesting. Hmm. Hmm. 
You know, the problem with this one, Lisa, is that I can't move these things around very well. These, these are, these pieces do not, they have to go together in one specific way. Yeah, because you've only got six of them. Uh-huh. Well, you might could take the top each corner and flip it with its opposite corner. No, see. No, because they're not the same size. Th this one is a dent and a point, and this one is a dent and a point. It or it it this yeah. is wrong. You're right. So, so mine are not going to be able to be moved around. I mean, granted, I won't do them very often together. But like I said, I have only used mine all together one time, so. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know if I want. But now knowing I can't move them around at all, that does make some make me think about how I want to use this. Yeah. Cheryl, a glass of wine a day will keep the cooties away. All right. All right. I, I don't want any cooties. Me neither, but I don't like wine. <laughs> well, I take that back. Um, I'm trying to remember how many years ago it was now, probably 30 years ago. The um, the orthodontic office I was a part of, we went to some meetings in California and we went on a, a Napa and Sonoma Valley wine tour. Oh, oh yeah. And um, we were on a bus, so you didn't have to worry. You could, you know, drink as much as you wanted. And a lot of people did, but um, not me. <laughs> I just drank a little bit because, I, like I said, I'm not big on wine. Of course, I guess I had as much as I wanted. But <laughs> anyway, um, the there were some sparkling wines, a blush sparkling wines that I actually liked. Mm -hmm. They were so expensive, I couldn't afford to buy any and bring them home. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> It was like, okay, I can taste it, but that's it. Well, my, my brother-in-law used to sell one called Jam Jar. Okay, you can tell from the you can tell from the title of it, Jam Jar, um, that it was definitely sweet. Okay. Um it it was a it was one they sold to um, Olive Garden and Red Lobster and places like that. Oh. Um he sold a lot of South African wines at that time. He works for a slightly different company now. So this jam jar is like drinking dessert. <laughs> okay. Um, and it's, inex it's inexpensive, relatively inexpensive. You can guess that if, if they sell it at um, Olive Garden and Red Lobster and places like that, that it's not going to be real expensive because they don't charge a lot for their their wines at the table. So um, we were out to New York and on the way home, we bought a whole case of that to, to, to take home to, um, to, to give to our friends that had taken care of our property and stuff like that while we were gone. But that stuff was like drinking dessert. I am not kidding. It, it was, it was uh, sweet and, and you know, you could, you could drink it pretty easy. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's kind of like drinking jelly. <laughs> oh, God. Um, I don't like sweet wines. Well, and Jeff doesn't really either, but um, we we had to buy it just because, you know, it was because of what it was called. It, its label had um, like a Smucker's label. It had that same look. Oh, how funny. <laughs> yeah. So. I'm going to ink this before I'm really done carving it just to see how this is going to work. I decided that they're all going to have lines of some sort in this particular one. Now maybe the next one will all have circles of some sort, big and small. So, um, Lisa, you ought to show what Barbara's inking. Oh, Hello, Mina's Barbie. here. Hello, Mina. Hi, Mina. I'm not drinking now. But I, you know, I said you were inking. Oh, inking. <laughs> All this talk about wine, I'm tempted to run down the hall and get me some. Yeah. 
that's what I'm inking. I think that's oh, I like great. it. That is going to be just fine and fine as frog's hair. Okay, keep going. Oh, mm hmm. Oh, I, you know, I like it with the background still in it. You do? I'm going to take it out. Are you sure? Yep. <laughs> I'm okay. sure it's, it's too hard to, it's too hard to get it. I can get this cleaned off very much. Well, Cheryl, that's because it's so cold there. It was funny when we moved to South Dakota and all of the, the wineries that are popping up in South Dakota of all places. I said that I was just amazed at that. You know, wine, I think, is popping up all over the place where yeah. it used to be. I got a lot of carbon to do here. Um, <laughs> well, my brother-in-law wanted to be a chef until he realized that as a chef, you really didn't get to cook. And I think my, that my sister met him over wine because she used to be a paralegal that um, when she lived in California, what she did was make sure that the wine labels were legal. Um, How do you mean legal? Well, a wine label has to tell you certain things. And so she, what she did was review the labels to make sure that they met the guidelines that they had to have. I, I they had all the info on them. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh. And, um, okay, so... I'm not sure if that's why they met or just what, but he was, they moved back to New York. He was from New York. He moved back to New York because he was going to go to chef school until he realized that the chefs never got to cook. <laughs> why don't they get to cook? I've never well, because most, most of the time um, they're running the kitchens. Most chefs, real actual chefs, are, they have sous chefs and all of that in the kitchen. You know, right. um, they they might design the recipe and the likes of that, but a lot of times they don't cook as much as run as run the kitchen. So he was, and he had been waiting tables, for, and he's a very was making a lot of money. When a couple of wine companies, he would sell more wine than anybody else. So a couple of wine companies came to him and said, "We would like you to." Um, be a salesperson for our company. And that's how he got into that, and he's been doing it a long time now. Wow, that's an interesting story. Yeah. Um, if that's Tanya, Mina. <laughs> she was asking if that was you, and then yep. saying hi. That's me. Hello, hello. That's that's tired me. Tired and hot me. Man, it's been hot. I'm just glad we didn't have any more storms because I'm not telling you, Lisa, when I texted earlier, there was no way. We had both the computers shut down and we're afraid oh. the television was going to get popped, too. Oh, my God. It, um, I think it was about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. is black as midnight out. and it well, Yeah, was, I saw your post. It was popping and it was, it was thundering and the lightning was lighting up the sky and... That was the second time today it had done that. And that's why my sister's planes were all late and messed up. Oh. Well, there's my books. Okay. Oh, that's so cute. What books? Books. Oh, your books. Look. Do they look like books? <laughs> yes, it does. Oh, I love that. That's so cute, Lisa. That was actually more fun to do than I thought. I did definitely make a goof up right there, but that's okay. It's okay. It's fun. Nobody can duplicate that. <laughs> Hi, Nina. This is Barbara Clark here. Oh, 
I love the books. And I like yeah. how their spines turn around and can go the opposite direction. That yeah, was a, that's 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 adorable. Funny. And all I'm doing is stripes. This is going to look like a prison puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> a prison puzzle. <laughs> no. I guess I think my brain is a little tired tonight, too. You know how that goes. Yes, I do. And I haven't actually worked all, all week, so... I, I keep thinking um, how much trouble I'm in for not working all week. I have a show tomorrow night and I don't have. Oh. So. Well, we feel very privileged that you're here instead of working. Yeah. Oh, uh, there's no way I could actually work tonight because I'm too. I'd be, you know, I'd be burning my fingers off or or falling asleep and burning my hair. <laughs> Okay, well, we don't want you to do that. So Okay, do not laugh, program. Barbara. I have done that. Have you? Yes. I have this done that. This is a little bit safer, but you are still working with sharp instruments. Yes, but it's, it's a whole lot better than 1,400 degrees. <laughs> God. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. All right. I think I'm ready to start digging. <laughs> Oh, this little man, this is going to look like a little man. All right. I want to in show a prison. He's going to look like just like a little man in a prison suit. <laughs> okay. See, uh, I'll be, I could carve some little eyes in him and that he definitely looked like. <laughs> or we could give it, we could give him a little round head here. There you <laughs> go. Yeah. Give him a round head and then, um, Oh, oh, we have, I'll have to get it carved and then we'll have to make you a little print. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Now you're going you're gonna to think I drank a whole bottle of wine and I haven't even had a glass. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff came to ask me if I had enough tea a little while ago. And I hadn't even finished that. So, you know. All right. I think we're going we're gonna to attempt to change the tool again. <laughs> Uh oh. Okay. Sherry says she posted a picture in my group. Okay. But I don't see what the picture's of. What's your picture of, Sherry? What picture did you post? Cheryl, um, Tanya makes glass beads. Mm-hmm. That's what she that's what she does. And and um, so therefore I use a torch and a kiln. And I melt glass, and that means that I work with something about three times as hot as an oven on a when you put it on um, clean, self-clean. Oh my God! Oh yeah, self-cleaning oven is about fifteen five hundred degrees, and I work at about fourteen hundred. So the difference between it's only a hundred dollars, hundred degrees shy of three times self-clean. Wow. So, um. But it's attached to the table, so you don't knock it over or anything. Everybody freaked out that uh, that you know I was doing it in the camper. Went back when in the day when I was doing it in the camper. Well, the thing of it is, is that um, I could burn I could burn the house down a whole lot faster with the stove <laughs> than I can with that because it's attached to the table. But I have leaned over too close to something and um, stuck my hair in the flame. So, uh -huh. um, you know, it, it, it has happened. Okay. That did not go in. That didn't set real well this time. Okay. It's setting I'm better. Out. It's setting better. This, there we go. It's, it, it is going in better. So I don't know, maybe it had a burr on it or something. Oh. It doesn't go in very far though. So but yes, so I make glass beads. And um ha. She ha do you have some of your beads in your boutique right now? Um I think there are some flowers and some and some little cones in my boutique. Um, 
Janet, could you put a link to Tanya's boutique in the? Yeah, I'll be right back. Call Tanya Fire Tiger. There you go. <laughs> Did you hear that, Tanya? No, I didn't. What? Cheryl says, call Tanya Fire Tiger. Yeah. Uh huh. It's a crazy fire lady. Um, these need to be cleaned, but they're and they're still on their mandrels, so that's kind of. Oh, that would be interesting to see. So, oh, oh goodness, Tanya. Are you flipping it over to you? It's on her right now. Um they're hard. Oh, to wow. These are um let me see if I can get one off. I make it I there we go. Now that that's, that's dirt in the middle there. That's Okay. Oh, you actually could see them pretty good. See, it, there's enough of a delay. I wasn't sure if you could see them. So these are what I call poppy flowers. They're a ruffled flower. And wow. I do them in a couple of sizes. And this was, you know, out of the day before yesterday, not day before yesterday, but the last time I worked. Oh, here's one that slid off already. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh. Nice. I was going to see if I could get the blue one out because it's real pretty. Let me see if I can get it off the mandrel. What I do to get these off is I put water in the tub and then um, I have to hold them with pliers. There's, there's what they call bead release on this metal and it's basically clay so, so that the glass doesn't stick to the metal mandrel and so when it gets wet i can usually pull them right off but sometimes they pull off and then that one pretty i think it's yes, just a pretty oh it's beautiful pretty blue color so that's flower beads and i make round beads too but just not as often because I've kind of known for that kind of flower bead. So that's just, you know, one of those. After after 20 years of doing it, you know, I kind of do specific things. So like the little beads that are in the boutique, they're a different kind of flower. And then there's little the little cones. I put things in the boutique so that that I have used in my videos. That's kind of what I had done. So, but if I don't get some more made, it's hard to sell what you haven't made. <laughs> it's yeah. true. And well, tomorrow, the ones that I bought from you. Oh, good. Have Are, you have you done something with them yet? I think you're no, going to. No, I'm just recording them right now. Okay. Uh, you know what? I have lots of customers who do that. I want to make sure whatever I do with them is going to be good enough for the beads. So I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> um, Kathy, um, a lot of my customers put them in jewelry all the time. I make jewelry with them all the time. I wonder if I have. Oh, I know what I have. I'll be right Beth back. Even say night, 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 Beth. Oh, night, night, Beth. Night, night, Beth. I'll be right back. Did Mary disappear? I haven't seen her in quite a while. I, I, I mean, she was here right at first, and she was carving because she might be carving and not chatting. But I haven't Ooh. seen her in a long time. Granted, this is um, this is. <sighs> Look at that! Yeah, this this is a, a, a 
showpiece. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I didn't um, say. Oh, I bet Mary is doing a video and carving along. That's why she's not talking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's good. But that's one of the things I have done with them. Now, this is a little different flower. Um, this flower is flatter and cut, and then it's etched so that it looks like uh, stained glass. Oh, that is wow, that's gorgeous. pretty. So, and then this one, this one's actually macrame, guys. Um, it's all knotted together. These wow. take me about a week to make. And I can guarantee you that if I sold one, it was usually at a bead show where anybody that was there would could make it, partially because they knew what it took to make it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, it was it was funny. I would often sell, sell them at the beach shows. But there is a Wisconsin State representative wife that wears one of these she wore it to a state dinner and sent me a picture right after she bought it from me um How cool is that? it was it was cool to have her send me the picture that with her fancy dress and the whole nine yards so do you get to put that in your portfolio her picture yeah oh, i suppose i could i really i didn't because you know it just it it was well i suppose i could um honestly i don't have a fancy jewelry portfolio because i sell more beads than jewelry does that make sense yeah um that was more good night sherry good Sweet night hon good night sherry <coughs> So you can take it off of me, Lisa, because you know I'm 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 carving these funny little straight lines. All right, we'll go watch Barbara carve. Okay. I'll watch me carve. I'm about almost done on my deeper carving on this. Almost. Not quite. But I am going to have to make a little guy with um wearing a um jumpsuit here. <laughs> A guy wearing a jumpsuit? Well, yeah, you know. See, we used to live in Alabama, and in Alabama, uh, they wear little striped jumpsuits and work alongside the road. Oh, here, here the women wear striped pants and work, you know, from the uh, prison. Okay. <laughs> yep. They might not do that in California. I don't know. They don't wear stripes. Oh, they don't wear stripes. So they here have Horrible color of orange. Oh, here, here the stripes are orange. Oh, oh wow. Oh yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. That can't be mistaken for much else. Oh yeah, and you should see a woman's bottom in striped pa orange pants. Oh, oh my goodness. God. <laughs> Not the best. Is that a picture you cannot get out of your mind now? No, we hadn't said that now. <laughs> it's stuck. <laughs> Now I'm getting to the part it's hard to see what I'm what I want to take out and what I don't want to take out. I don't want to take that little guy out. Mina says that she loves the design on the stamp. Which one? This one? Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you. This is a die cut, you guys. I'll show you the the original it's a it's a die sherry left for the night good night sherry she's probably gone already i cut my um can you see that uh-huh thank you kathy so that's just what i cut my little flowers out of to put in my journal and then i said wow that's perfect i'll make that into a little stencil uh-huh so i see I'm, i made it wider here where i needed the little edge yep 
and and so then I wanted to make a stamp out of the same thing. That's where I my cut. This is out of the little packaging that this little guy was on. That's okay, cool. back to it. <laughs> work the work is over. Her break is over. Is that what you just said, Lisa? I said commercial break is over. Commercial uh -huh. break is over. Boy, I love this little skinny one. I like all those stripes. You like all those stripes? Well, that's why I'm, I decided I would do, I'll have to do... This one's going to go straight up and down. Okay, let's see if that one goes straight up and down. I need to make this one into a, another puzzle piece that looks like a puzzle piece. Oh, let me go back over to you so we can see what you're... So this one will have to do like... like that and be so that it follows the shape of the puzzle uh -huh. that one follows the shape of the puzzle that one stripes and this one stripes hmm this one is going to have to be stripes going this way But I guess this one is going to follow the shape of the puzzle again, too. Didn't really I want to do that. The women in the neon orange prison pants have just given Holly an incentive to stay good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, and Holly. Oh, you're too easy. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, since since we're we're on that strange subject, I'll tell you a little story. Just <laughs> oh, for, just for a little story. When we lived in Alabama, before I went to work for the school, I worked for a girl who did upholstery, and for the most part, what I did was take things apart for her. She lived in a little town over from us. We lived in Wetumpka, which is outside of Montgomery. And she lived in an even smaller town called Eclectic. And she had a, a downtown building in Eclectic. Eclectic had, you know, it had seen better days. It was a little town. And this downtown building, and she, oh, man, that building was filled with stuff. Um. We worked in a small section of it. She had sort of a gallery thing in the front, and and she she reupholstered furniture. So one day, and you know, I've always worked close work without my glasses on. If I'm doing something real close, I take my I have always taken my glasses off. Right now, I'm having to wear readers, but that's you know, I'm old. Um, anyways. <laughs> So I'm working on this couch or chair or something, taking staples out of the back, and I've got my glasses off, and I've got um, protective glasses on. And across my toe of my shoe went a snake Ew. inside the building, okay? <laughs> okay, so... And this is Alabama, so, you know, there's all sorts of poisonous snakes in Alabama. <laughs> and um, so, needless to say, I kind of had a freak out. I did not move very far, but um, I kind of had a freak out. And we grabbed a paper bag and caught this bloody little snake in a paper bag. 
Oh my God. Okay, well, so we call the fire department to come and deal with the snake and to tell us what kind of snake it is because, you know, we're not going to just take it out back and let it loose due to right. the fact that we don't know if it's a poisonous snake. And this is a small snake. Somewhere it has a mama. Right? <laughs> so the fire department guys show up and he has got with him an entire truckload of inmates. They have been out on the road doing something along the edges of the road. Um, probably clearing brush or something, but, and this is the fire department. Don't ask me why. I have no idea what they were doing. So Cal he's got fire the, uses the prisoners. Yeah. Anyways, um, he's got a whole truckload of inmates and not one of them will open that bloody bag to look at the snake. Uh, I'm like, okay, I'll open the bag. You can just lean over. Okay. Now I, I hate snakes. I hate snakes with a passion. But here I am holding this bag open for this guy to look in. He won't even touch the outside of the bag. <laughs> I was like, okay, you know. But this whole truckload of inmates showed up to look at the snake. To save the day for you, but they wouldn't come close. No, so what no. What was it? Um, they didn't think it was poisonous, so we took it out back and let it go. That's funny. No, I'm not joking, Kathy. I, I'm not kidding whatsoever. It was, it was, it was, and for weeks after that, we were like, okay, are we going to find another snake inside the building? Yeah, really? You know, so now my cat used to drink, bring me snakes when we lived in, the, in South Dakota. He would bring me snakes all the time. And he would bring them up to the back porch and leave them on the deck. And they were, they would be half dead. And just about the time I had decided they were dead and I could sweep them off the deck, they would come alive and move. <laughs> so I learned never to open the door. Uh, but they would play possum so that the cat wouldn't bother them anymore. One time, Jeffrey went across, he, they, they would nest in the backyard. They would nest right outside my studio door, actually. Oh, and one time I got stuck in the studio because there was one crawling up the door on the outside of the door. Oh. And <clears throat> my son had to come and get it so that I could get out. That's, you know. But they were corn snakes. You, you knew they were corn snakes. And Jeffrey, didn't. we didn't like to kill them because they eat a lot of bad bugs and stuff. So yeah. he would, I told him if he, he had to take them across the highway. So if they made it across six lanes of traffic, come back to the yard, they could live in the yard. But oh. usually I didn't see them again. One day he took 12 snakes across the street in the same day. So. That's a lot of snakes. <laughs> yeah, he had them in his hand. Why didn't the officer, don't ask, I mean, the officer wouldn't touch the bag either. Um, it was so funny, Lisa. He he come, okay, first he comes, he, he had these snakes like this. He said he would grab one and he stuck it between his fingers. So he grabbed the next one and stuck it in his fingers and like this. So he had four in one hand, right? And he comes and he's got one in the other hand. So he's holding them up in the air, walking across the street with all these snakes like Medusa oh head coming down from his hands. He said people must have thought he was crazy. <laughs> Uh-oh. Becky's out of cat, cat food, canned cat food, so Kelly is just... So she had to open human food. Oh, dear. Oh, my goodness. I bet our cat wouldn't even eat human food. Oh, well, the fireman, the fireman wouldn't even look at it either. He just, you know, the officer that was with him, nobody would. I don't think the fireman got out of the truck. The officer brought the inmates in. 
I was just, it was so funny. There was all these men, all these men. And not one of them would touch that bag. It was so funny. And I could guarantee you, I don't like snakes. Now, when my sister was younger and back in the day when I was a photographer, I was a stringer on the paper in the summertime. And we went to the um, local parks uh, nature center one day and they had a boa constrictor somebody had brought in and the sister that was just here I took pictures of her with that thing wrapped around her body he, he was he was caught by being caught on somebody's garage door opener oh and um, so he was at the nature center recuperating and Stephanie got to hold him and I took pictures of her. She's never been afraid of snakes at all. Of course, I don't think she's afraid of much of anything. Well, there's got to be one in the family that'll take care of those things. Well, her comment, her her thing was always, no guts, no glory, you know. <laughs> She's the youngest. and She always had to show everybody else up then. No, I don't think so. She really didn't. But, okay, we're going to try to change this blade again. We'll see. Okay, what is Holly saying there? She says, I ate at le ate there at least three times. Then my nephew ended up serving time there. And also my cousin's husband served, husband served time there. I'm not sure where, though. Where is that, Holly? Let me go up and see if I can find where. Well, I don't know, but Cheryl says that, that since we ha they had a warm winter, they're going to have more snakes. And I wouldn't doubt that at all. Oh, his, her uncle was a correctional officer and he would take us out for dinner at the prison. You weren't huh? allowed to tip. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, see, when I undo that two or three times, it still doesn't let me take that out. It's really stuck in there again. That is really weird. Yeah. I don't think that's the way it's supposed to work. Yeah. That's why it's irritating me. Because I've got it pulled all the way apart. So there's something about it that doesn't quite work right in there. It's got to go in between a little... It well, is. It's in. It's in between it. I can see that it's in between okay. it. It just. Um, it, it just doesn't sit in there quite right. Something. Something is off. But yeah, I've I've got it in between the parts that it's supposed to go in between. So, okay. Why don't you go to one of the other that's not not carbon boring stuff. <laughs> I think I've been blocked. Uh oh, Mina, what's going on? Are you blocked, Mina? Nope, we see her, so I don't think so. Okay. We're going to give this guy a handle and then we're going to stamp it. I'm going to do the name. There it is. Okay. 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 Let's, oh, I'm going to really like having this stamp. Okay. She did, Mina typed a couple of messages that didn't go through. That's. Well, that's weird. None of us are well, touching anything that would block you. Well, and Kathy says it's been happening to her too. So 
I wonder if it's just YouTube. We we'll go to live chat and look and see if I see something that. Oh, you know, I am. Uh, I am on top chat too. You're on what? Because we're talking about prison. Oh, it could be. So maybe we best not be talking about prison. No more talking about prison. <laughs> well, you never know. know. It, it could be. That could be the reason. God, there's so many people in prison. Okay, I got a point on this to where the branch is. And, and that could be why, guys. So let's drop that subject. <laughs> okay. Well, that YouTube algorithm can be weird. Oh, it stamped out real pretty. Did you? Yeah, it did. Oh, that's gorgeous. Love it. It is. I love it, too. Oh, she says her message was about Callie. Huh. Well, that's even weirder. Kathy says about 15 minutes ago, it said YouTube has shut down and then it closed and it had to open back up. Huh. Oh, how weird. Huh. That's just strange. Yeah. Thank you, Holly. Are you talking about this one? My little leaves. I love it. Love it. Got some cleaning up to do, I see. The thing is, when I use the uh, when I use the little stencil I made, I use it both ways. So obviously, I'm going to have to make another stamp. The other direction. Uh huh. The other direction. Yep. Okay. Then see, with stamp carving, though, you have to figure out what the other direction is, right? <laughs> True. Well, use your stencil, turn it over, and make it go the other way, for silly sake. Yes, I will. <laughs> I will figure that one out eventually. There's the one way, and there's the other way. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> That's right, not going to be as hard as we need to have a glass of wine. Are we going to stay on here a little bit longer? What time is it? It's 9.36. Oh, uh, I, it, Lisa, you're the one that has to get up with your children. Of course, I should get up in the morning and work, but. Oh, I'm going to say, let's, let's say 10 o'clock. Okay. That's, that sounds well, like I'm a good. Go get me a glass of vino. Okay. It's happy hour. Because Jeff's probably going to want to watch the news. I don't know why. But he's probably going to want to watch the news. Oh, we're having too much fun. Okay, let's find the better ink pad. This ink pad is not this one will work better. Okay, that's pretty cool. Well, let me move over to you. You can tell it rained today. The frogs are making all kinds of noise. All right. That's well, pretty cool. Yeah. Happy cocktail hour, everybody. There oh. you go. 
Okay, so now we have to do this little man with a head. So let's let's stamp this little man and this little man in his his special striped suit. We won't <laughs> say that other word, but we'll say special striped suit. Okay, so okay. all right, here we go. It's all clean up. Okay, so there's that part of him. There's a little circle that will work for his little head. <laughs> Does he need a hat on his head? Yeah, sure. he needs a hat on his head. His hat's gonna look a little funny, but you know, cause it's as big as his suit. So <laughs> his, hat, his hat will be as big as his suit, but that's okay. It will protect him from the sun. There we go. Now we need a pencil so we can put some eyes in there. Oh man, I love this little guy. He's cute. He's very cute. <laughs> Eraser man. <laughs> I like all those houses. I got to make me some more houses. Yeah, I like the houses too. I, I definitely will be making some houses. Okay, he's got he's got way too much lipstick on. <laughs> okay, let's let's uh, let's let's find a pen that I could actually make him. Um, mm -hmm. That's dark enough to see. Okay. But yeah, his li he he has quite quite the lips. I think there we go. <laughs> <clears throat> he looks very cute. Let's see. What should he have in his hand? He should probably have some kind of um, fishing pole in his hand or something. You know, he needs to have a fishing pole <laughs> so that he can catch a little fish. Don't know, ask me why he has a fishing pole. I don't know. But this fish has a big eye. It's a small fish. You know, he should throw it back. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Um, oh, he needs some ears, doesn't he? I guess he should have some ears. The hat does protect his ears, but, you know, they are going to show under there. We need some big old... better. Yeah, he needs some big old shoes here, too. So let's see. His feet are going to turn out like a ballerina's because, you know, we have to have giant clown feet that shoes go out like ballerinas. Oh, well, he might need suspenders, too. Let's see. So hold his pants up. Let's try it again. Yeah, he has suspenders to hold his pants up. His suit must have buttons down the front. Bye, Kathy. Bye, Kathy. Bye, Kathy. His, button, his suit has buttons down the front. Lisa, Aunt Beck is saying, look above. Yeah. Lisa, um, when does the entries have to be in by? Uh, July 15th. July 15th. Lisa, I sent an envelope yesterday, and hopefully we'll have a video out. I didn't, you're getting something that wasn't in the video. I may send you another envelope later, but. That's okay. Um, I've got several people who are trying to send stuff out right at the last minute. So if I know you've got something coming and it hasn't gotten here by the 15th, I might delay a day or two to see if those things can come on in. But Okay. Um, well, I knew if I knew if I waited until I made something in a video that it, you weren't going to get it on time. So yeah, I sent good. something ahead of time, and then um, okay, he is fun. He is he very is cute. Fun. <laughs> I love him. He is fun. Okay, I'm going to go over and show you my little houses. 
Okay, do that because you know. Um, so these are the three little houses that I've done. And I just printed that one twice, but these are the three. I love those little houses. houses, but I'm going to I'm going to print them in a row here and see what our our street will look like. That's right. <laughs> okay, let's see here. I'm going to put this one on this side. There we go. There's our little neighborhood. That is so oh, that is so cute. I love that. <laughs> that is what you call too stinking cute. <laughs> That's too stinking cute. Mm. I'm loving those too. I'm I'm gonna be using those. Those are fun. I'm so glad we decided to do this. Thank you, Barbara, for giving me the nudge. Being the instigator, I'm glad I did because I've been wanting to carve these particular stamps for a couple about a month or two well and i was just going to hold off until december yeah right mm -hmm. i uh, know we don't want to do that no lisa you're right making the circles is really cool when you um just hold your thing in place and spin the rubber thing yeah it's it's fun too <laughs> mm -hmm. i decided that they weren't going to all have stripes because it would be boring so there you go <laughs> Do something a little bit different. Uh huh. Well, and the I have the medium or the second size little V in, and dependent upon how upright you hold the the tool is how big the circle is that you make. Yeah. That one's not gonna. And I can see making a great big stamp like this because I would use it a lot. Uh -huh. I can see that too. So check how these look with the different colors coming in. Can you see that? Just a second. Let me get over there to you, Barbara. There we go. Those look gorgeous. That is pretty, isn't it? Cool. A whole page of those and then add some flowers on top of them would be fun. Oh, that's I know. gorgeous. Uh-huh. It would also be pretty stamped on 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 tissue like that and then laid over like a colored background. Right. Norma's leaving. Good night, Norma. Good night, Norma. Oh, night, Norma. Yes, Becky. Swiss cheese. I am making Swiss cheese. And it especially looks like that on this yellow racer. <laughs> Oh, this is cool. Oh, wait. I know. I need my gecko in the middle of this mess. Yeah, put your gecko on there. He needs to be covered by Hold a on, Norma. He's going to be a green gecko. Just let me know when you mail them, Holly, and um, I'll keep an eye out for them. If I know they're already in the mail, I'll wait for them to get here. <laughs> oh, how cute. That makes me happy. <laughs> it makes me happy, too. <laughs> what a kick. Well, good. I accomplished something today, y'all. <laughs> I made a bigger I mess than I had before. So. <laughs> I know. I did, too. There is one that I have to do with red. Next Tuesday is our first hangout for July, right, Lisa? Yes, at noon. At Central. noon, yes. And we will be over here on my channel. 
with Linda McAllister. Cool. And I promise I will get the the um the information video up in a day or so now that Stephanie's gone home. <laughs> um, that was fast to carve, I'll tell you what. Thank you, Cheryl. This spiral was made for red. Oh yeah, it looks great. It would look great in yellow too. It could be your son. Yes. Oh, that came out so cool. That is really cool. Did come out cool. Yes. I really like that technique for making circles, Lisa. Oh, I want to see just a second. Oh, please. look at that. Yeah, I I want I want a big rubber, one of those big erasers to do that Swiss cheesy thing with. That's cool. Now you've got me wanting to do a big one too. No, Holly, noon, noon central. Noon central, Holly. Noon central here. Noon central on Tanya's channel. Yeah, good night. Good night, Norma. Noon Central, Holly, not Eastern. I wonder if I've got a bigger piece of paper. Let's see. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. This is wonderful. So excited. All right. I'm going to pack up and just enjoy my wine and visit. So I'm going to... I'm, I'm just making some really quick little fun ones now with these shapes. Well, sh let's see. Show yourself. Show yourself. So show yourself. I am. It's just delayed. <laughs> okay. There's a spirally one. Oh, I like that. Is that those little thin? Thin um, white ones? The uh, ones? Yeah, they're these like this. These little ones that look for usually come in a set. I like those little circles. Those and are then great. this one, I think this one's fun. It's like a shooting star or something. Mm, okay. Uh -huh. That's fun. Now I've got a whole bunch more of these I can play with. It's definitely better to work on the side that does not have the whatever it is. The design, yeah. 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 But yeah. When I had drawn something back there and I didn't like it and it wouldn't erase, and so I did it on the design side. It'll work. It just takes more ink. Uh-huh. Well, and not only that, it's it's um it's it's slicker, so you're having to cut through that. Yeah. It probably has some kind of coating on it. Okay. Yeah, I kind of, like plastic I, or something. Yeah. I kind of like this where I don't put the puzzle completely together. I'm leaving a little hole between the puzzle pieces. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Look, I like that too. Yay. Now, of course, I only got four out of six done but you know that's okay that's okay yep there's just some more to do another time yep maybe we'll do another practice um hang out before well depending on if we can figure out how to do it starting in august <laughs> yeah yeah that's, before that's right so are are any of y'all or any of the people on the chat working with this OBS stuff yet? Oh, I, I have always used OBS um, to stream. Yeah. yeah. You can't use it in a Hangout. That's the thing. It, it does not work for Hangouts, but... Um, Apparently it works for Zoom. Yes. Well, it works for Zoom, but Zoom isn't live. So I don't no, know how... No, can go live uh, through, through OBS, I think. Okay. Well, then 
that's one of those things. Linda made the comment that she did that, but I thought it was a recorded video. So I haven't figured that part out yet. Somebody said that to me on Sunday before my sister came on Monday or Tuesday. I don't remember. So I haven't even looked at it yet. But yeah, I live stream through OBS because it keeps me. Um, it If I drop signal, then it comes right back. Hello, Lynn. I'm glad you came out on Lurking, and I'm glad that you came to watch us. Hi, Lynn. Um, Cheryl's asking what the easiest eraser to carve is. In, uh, you'd, I don't know. Lisa has carved so many different kinds of erasers. Mary likes those white polymer um, erasers. I know that. Yeah, and I've... I've only carved one of those and I didn't think it was any easier than any of these others. I just, whatever. Now I, I have found some of these pink erasers. Um, Go to yourself, Lisa, so you can show them. Not this brand that says pink eraser, but some of them that are pink um, crumble. Uh, yeah. Well, they crumble when you, um, when, when you, you race, with them, true. <laughs> race with them. So yeah. Yeah. But, I haven't had, um, I only had one of those that ever do that. And I haven't had any trouble carving any of the erasers that I've carved. So, um, and I've used every kind of, you know, now I've got these, these two I've got, but I've never carved on them. Mm -hmm. So I, this one feels um, like it might be a little brittler. Okay. But I, any everything else I've got, I've carved on, and I haven't ever had any trouble. And these are just the cheap pink erasers from Dollar Tree, <laughs> and these I think were from Walmart. And these I got. Um, there were I think three of them in a package from um, at in the dollar part at Target, but I haven't carved on any of these yet. Um, Chris, I think that they're going to last as long as a eraser lasts. Um, now, one of the things you can't probably can't do rubber stamps that have been vulcanized blah, 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 um, are have been heated. I don't know what would happen if you heated one of these, like if you used it with something that was hot, like pushing into uh embossing powder or something where with a rubber stamp you can do that so i right. don't know on that instance but as far as stamping with them lisa you said yours are a couple years old i i think they would last as long as a racer lasts if a racer yeah. dries out then the rubber stamps are in the same kind of thing they will dry out too are you just winging it there girl just playing yeah okay I'll show you what winging it looks like. <laughs> uh, Holly says, if you don't erase with it, it'll last longer. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true, Holly. No wonder she's worried about the striped pants. Uh, there's winging it. Oh, I like that. So it doesn't oh, have to be something special to be fun. Oh, no, it was... It was really fun to make those circles. I'll tell you what. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool, Lisa. I like that one. So, you know, they just don't have to be anything special to be fun to use. I like oh, that one me. a lot. Yeah, well, we're just three minutes away from 10 o'clock. So. Yeah, I know. So I'm, gl I'm glad that we said 10 o'clock because... Um, my, my little body says it's time to go to bed. It's time to go. Yeah. I haven't been sleeping well, so I'm I Oh, need to honey, I'm sorry. It's It'll get better. Yeah. Yeah, it will. It, it, it's better now that I'm not up every night worrying about him. That's true, too. Mm -hmm. um, so, so I made one more print of this one with the gray. Oh, let me come over there. Lisa, I love that little flower, too. Good night, Becky, dear. Good night, Becky. Night, night, Becky. Sleep well. 
that's uh, scoot it over. Well, I've got my thing moved. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's, that's cute. Yeah. Somehow that looks like it belongs with that red swirl thing. It looks I know like it, it does. belongs on the same page. Well, that's yeah. because it's a little row of mountains and a sunshine. There, there you go. go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Good night, oh, Holly. Yeah. Thank you. The, the, those are, that's a map, you know. <laughs> Love it. Oh, wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> now I want a big eraser to carve a map in. Oh, yeah, that would be fabulous. Well, with your houses, you could make uh, streets that go from one house to the other, make a little that's neighborhood. True. I got one of these. I could make a street. It's put in okay. front of the houses. Janet says we have to do um, a painty paper bonanza to use the stamps. I think I that's like a great that. idea. Well, I can't wait to try mine on my jelly plate, and I'm just going to let them get clogged up and then go wash them off. Well, and you know, Hi, Deborah, thanks for coming. They don't wash Deborah. off. If they don't wash off, you can always carve another one. Exactly. Exactly. Oh. If if I ruin it, I can redo it. Mm-hmm. I like this little puzzle. This is so cool. I think that is wonderful. I got two more to do. But I don't think I'll carve on the back side of them because I think it would be cool to put them on a, to glue, to stick them on a block some of the time. Oh, yeah. Where you can stamp them all at once. How did that one just, get turned over to the print and the rest of them didn't? Oh, it isn't. It is the signature on the back side. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So, see, he's he's got a, a thing, too, on the front. Yeah, okay. So I just thought um, that was weird because they weren't interchangeable. <laughs> no, and this one this one um, has um, Hong, made in, made in China written on it. Good night, Cheryl. Good night, Lynn. Good night, all. Good night, all. Janet. Or is it Janet that's leaving it? No, she's just saying good night to everybody else. Okay. <laughs> good night, Sh Sharon. And I'll see you guys on Sunday. Mm -hmm. I, I will be here and we will be making little shrinky charms. Cool. Have I'm fun. A, <laughs> I'm assuming Becky will be on tomorrow. Is Becky already gone? I think she I left. I think she yeah, left. Becky, Becky left. We'll have to ask her. And next Tuesday at noon central is our hangout. And I promise I'll get the video up. I've just been lazy. I've been so lazy. Mm -hmm. It's okay. You're allowed. Yeah. I've been doing other things that are important. Yeah. And I did take my sister shopping. That's important too. She likes to shop at the thrift store. Oh, and we went to a hoarder house, hoarder houses, a hoarder's house estate sale. Oh, my goodness. What was that like? Um, it was very interesting. We have one of those coming up here on Saturday. One of my friends. Oh, oh my. She already had an art giveaway. She, all of her, they, the, her people who were doing her estate sales. Uh huh. Uh, who are other friends? Um, she wanted to do this. She put all of, they got all of her art supplies out in her living room and dining room and extra, extra room in her, in her home. And uh, we, we're all invited just to come take what we wanted. Oh my! I know. So Did I got some have fun. Uh, it was great. Mm -hmm. Jen, I got some, some acrylics, and I got some. God, what else did I get? I, you know, I don't need anything. So I did get her rapidograph pen, which I still need to go back and figure out how to fix. I can't get a. Uh, hey, this is it. I can't get a. Um, Lisa, go over there so I can see it, please. And Janet said that Lisa, uh, that Becky did say she'd be on tomorrow night. So this is a rapidograph pen. So this is like, and she was a really nice artist. She, she did wonderful art. Is that where you make all the dots? Well, this is 
this is like fine line black. It's a drafting. It's a drafter. It's drafting. I've got uh, a drafting tool. Um, I've got to take it to my art so engineering art supply place and and say, hey, how how can I fix this? Hold it up really again. Not you see it. Hold it up. So let's see. Is there a? There was a name on it. Okay. Coronor. Coronor. Repeat it. Yeah. Okay. Does it have a? Um, is it is it blocked? Is that the deal? Yes, and I have soaked it. Thank you. In, in what? I soaked it in Murphy's oil soap, but maybe not long enough. It depends right. on what she put in it, because they they were permanent. So I don't know. India ink, yeah, it's India ink. I'll dry it. I've got to take it in there and see if I can retrieve it, because that that's the one. She was a fine artist, fine line doodler drawing mountainscapes all mm -hmm. kinds of beautiful line drawing things yeah cards that she sold that's one of the yeah. things she did guys i'm gonna go all right okay. well thank you everybody this was just great fun thank you lisa thank, thank you, you thank y'all for coming to play with me well thank I, you for I love it. thank you for inviting me you're welcome. We're glad you came. Bye, all. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.